Mikey Dread here. Tuesday night. We're live. How y'all doing? We are here in our new home, YouTube Live for Bowling Science. It's Mikey Dread Live. We're going to do some bowling. That's what we're doing tonight. Appreciate everybody stopping by. What's up, Matt? First one here. You're first, Matthew. All right, let's pop on over into the game. That's right. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and share this before we get started. Just a few minutes before we get going here. We got false clay, false cape jamming in the background. I know Matt will like that. Hope y'all enjoy that. Live in five minutes. What do you mean live in five minutes? It's live right now, I thought. Where are you at? Did I get a notification? Yeah. There's the note. Okay, cool. It's live. My phone's just silly, guys. How you doing, Sea Lance? Who wants to play some bowling tonight? We're here. I gotta hit that share button. There's a little arrow on your screen. You can hit the share and share it on your Facebook news feed. That'll let all our friends at Facebook know that we're here now. We had a few thousand people watching today. We want to bring them over here and uh, have them hang out in YouTube land with us. I have a hard time getting used to that. Make sure you stop in, say hi as you pop in, hit that like button as well. That's right. After hours bowling with Mikey Dread. And we're gonna share this, we're gonna tag our buddies going on everybody five viewers popping in we're gonna see who's getting in the online here of course the bugs are trying to fly around now is a mosquito out of nowhere guys all right let's hit this challenge line we're gonna bowl on the premium pattern tonight it's our 46 foot it's the ranking pattern for the week y'all can't see it either that's lame I'm trying to figure out the best place to put my face I guess that's it. That's gonna be the best place to put my face. There we go, okay. New place for my face. See how that looks. All right, everybody, who's here to play? Ain't nobody here yet, come on, guys. Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? I see y'all in the chat now. We got Bear, we got Gary X with us, and Time to Bowl hanging out in Discord. Anybody want to get whooped on some ranking? Y'all hear me in uh, Discord? Yeah, can you hear me? Fantastic. <laughs> There's the bear. I found the bear. We got one with us. Oh, Kendra with the super chat. Oh, appreciate that. A dollar forty nine super chat, rainbow unicorn style. <laughs> Let's go ahead and post that thing up. Let's see who we can't get to hang out with us. Gary X, there you are. Let's do this darn thing. Start in three seconds. I think we're lined up too. Oh, this could be good. Good luck, gentlemen. Oh, rip ten. What is that? Why are we all chopping? Oh well. Oh, that's right, I gotta shoot the spare too, don't I? I don't get to just leave it. <laughs> All right, bang. We banged one down. Let's see how the stream's... How's the stream looking today? You don't have this game? It's on PC, see, Lance? It's on Steam. It's called Premium Bowling. You should pick it up, my dude. It's super good. Super duper good. We 
what you got. Gary's got a Squatch Hybrid in his hand tonight. That looks pretty good. I'll take it. We'll get the other camera here so we can get the close-up. Shooting with the Bowling Science Spare Ball. Six viewers, how y'all doing tonight? Say hi in the chat. Hit that share button. Let everybody know in Facebook land that we are here now. Over in YouTube. Let them, help them find their way over here. We left the 10 pin, so we gotta make a little adjustment. A little scoochy. Make a little scoochy on the approach. A little shift shift. That's okay, what games do you have, C Lance? All right, that'll carry. Cause we, we stream all sorts of games. We're gonna stream some different stuff tonight. We starting on two hand Tuesday after hours. Throwing my two handed Zing hybrid. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button too. We've got a video on the main channel part of YouTube there. Uh, me to throw in my Zing Hybrid two-handed. Um, that was a blast. I think that video went up last week on Tuesday. Um, love that ball. Oh, Gary rips a nine. I was less not at the deck. Good spare. You're not gonna give it to me easy tonight. Did you ever play any more Call of Duty, Gary? No. Or I ate and then relaxed. That's where I was. I did similar. All right. Let's kick this camera over to follow ball so y'all can see the good view. There we go. That's a carry. We're bowling here in the Mountain Retreat Bowling Center. It's one of my favorites. It runs real smooth. Hopefully, we'll dodge the connection monster tonight. Uh, that's been the issue lately with in premium bowling. They've added a lot of features and a lot of new bowlers, um, but we've had some server connection issues. They're working on it. Um, the small production team does a really good job. Um, the development team. They do a really good job of updating, keeping up. I did pick up PBA Pro Bowling, Zombie Games, Star Citizen. All right. That's what's up. I've been thinking about picking up PBA Pro Bowl, and I beat it on my phone. I just kind of lost interest in it after that a while ago. Um, but I might, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Woo, that's right. Carry that thing. All right, Gary, double up. Double up, catch up. How are we looking? 70, 80, when... Earlier, we gave away a bowl drive fan to a Patreon member. Check the link in the description if you want to join Patreon and support the stream. We got a bunch of exclusive uh, goodies there. You get 24-hour uh, early access to all videos. There's exclusive merch. Um, you also can get some video coaching or get featured in a Bowling Science episode. Uh, Andrew Tinch recorded the first intro that we've used so far from a lab member. Gary X is part of the lab, he's here bowling with us. I've got the exclusive lab video going up this week for the lab, it's all ready to go. It's a match on my first day back to bowling as a two-hander. Only game I've bowled for score. Match on a one-to-one -one oil pattern between me and Dawson Meyer, 38 feet. It's kind of comical. Made the 210 though, spoiler alert. Uh-oh. Gary's looking good. Bear's perfect. I missed in the first frame. It's gonna be high scoring. Looking good. Looking good. No. Pop over to Facebook and share this in a few places. Alright, I am up first. 
Now, see, we got the controller overlay, so you can see I do play with a Xbox One controller. You can see my inputs, how we get the tilt in with the left stick real quick, and then add the rotation. Look at that. I gotta make an adjustment. We got some push going on, guys. I think we're all playing a very similar part of the lane. Let's share this thing. All right, Bear, front five, what you got for the stream? Go put a 300 up for us tonight. I'm trying to. Put it up! Oh, trip to 10, we're all getting a little push. We're all got a little pushy push. Let's uh, make sure we get this. Yeah, what's up, Ryan? When you come back out, can you bring some, like, Dr. Peppers? I do. There we go. And it's going down. All right. Push ball, push ball. There's my adjustment. I'm just pulling it. I'm just going to pull it. Hit that tug oil. There's risk of pop or damage if I do two handed. <laughs> yeah, no, I hear you. That's like risk of property damage if I try to bowl left handed. True story. True story. It's been a great Let's show this far. The goal for this throw can only be a ham turkey dinner. One more spot if you're just popping in. Say what's up. We're gonna share two of you. Look at that. This is an important role. A seven day. Attempt is on. Alrighty, get this thing rolling. And I didn't make the adjustment, it finally ran out. That 10 pin happened. I talked about softening up. I was sharing the stream, trying to get the word out that we moved over here to YouTube from Facebook land. Trying to let everybody in Facebook land know we're here now. And uh, Forgot to move my feet. Left the 10 pin. Got uh, distracted. Just like normal bowling. What the heck? What the heck? Pop that up. Yeah, I wish. My dad bowls left handed. He's good at that. I did bowl left handed. Let's see if we can see what these captions look like. <laughs> nice shot, Bear. Thank you. Bear's looking perfect. I don't think that was what I oh, oh, no. Shoot. Wow. 7-9, buried. Freaking buried. No bueno. No bueno. Alright, we gotta make this, y'all. For the chat, we made the 4 9 10 earlier. It happened. Can we do it again? Nope. But we, uh, we shifted it over nicely. Thanks for the doctor. The doctor's in the house. Thank you, sir. Pins are being battered like no Much tomorrow. appreciated. A ham dinner. I like it. We'll put that up there. Y'all let me know how the stream quality is. If it starts to drop a little bit or something, let me know in the chat. Well, this is all new. We've been running new settings to try to make it easier on the computer. So it runs smoother more often, because we were having some issues before. Looks like it's running pretty smooth tonight. Oh, oh nice. Come on. Oh! He stuffed it! No, we're all getting the push. 
really shine. All right, 279. Finish out with the 79. My open is going to change the game here. I just uh, I just got massively behind. I made a small move forward, small move to the right, just a little bit. Oh, cool. Thanks, Sea Lance. Oh, that tugged it. All right. No está bueno. I'm losing it, guys. All right. Clean. That's the option. Or the option. <laughs> That's what we're trying to do. All right, dude. I'll be here, bro. What's up, Romeo? Yeah, man, I was getting some, and then it got ugly. Real quick. I just missed my target. We'll be here, dude. All right. Get up. There it is. That's it. Get that one. I think we're going to pop over here. Come on, Gary. How you going to finish out? I finished with 236. Oh, carries the first one. Up here. I'm gonna grab this guy. Here it is. All right. Cool. I think I got it in a better spot. Damn it. <laughs> Two. Gonna put the 79 up. Put the pressure on the bear. Tenth frame. Didn't carry the last one. Can he make the right adjustment in the tenth? Now this is bowling. <clears throat> my voice look sort a little dry, cracking. Sorry, my voice is cracking tonight, y'all. You know? I can't. Oh no! Did I we can't get... do nothing? I got connection. Yes, you. No. Say it isn't so. Gary, you got him too? Looks like we got bit by the connection bug. Everybody. Connection bug. Oh, Gary X reconnected. Okay. Wait, Bear, you might reconnect. Did you do anything, Gary, or did that happen automatically? Oh, I can't hear you, Gary. No, I had connection. Oh, cool. oh, you did. But did it fix itself automatically? Hear me now, though. Oh, yeah, I hear you now. Yeah, I had to uh, re or connect to my Wi-Fi. Okay, try disconnecting from your Wi-Fi there and reconnecting. That should get you back in. It'll trigger the game to reconnect you to the server. Yeah, I, d I disconnected my ethernet and then connected to Wi-Fi and then after about 10 seconds it reconnects to the game yeah I do similar but I reset the Wi-Fi just period oh if I had reset the Wi-Fi I would uh, it would like lose everything ah uh, I uh, hear you yeah, that's why I have the two routers we might lost this game that sucks dude sucks dude we'll give this one more shot Two-handing and premium, that's right. That's what we're trying to do. Right now we're two-handed waiting for uh, for the, the the lanes broken. Bear has connection issues. Okay, that's what pops up. Bear has reconnected. I don't see it yet, but I'm, I'm just willing it. There it is. Bear's back. There we, we figured go. out how to cheat the system. Well done. Remember when we first started playing and we used to have to do little, like, Glitch fixes. Oh, it's well, been the, a while. Yeah, when when they just freeze and not have connection issues. Yeah, and it would. Oh uh, yes. All right, he's got to strike out, right? Hey, Karen entered. She probably wants to speak to the manager. Oh, the manager's not here. What's up, 10 viewers? Jeff Keller wanting to play, having issues with headset controller, and being frustrated. Yeah, the connection issues have been bogus. That's why we've been playing some golf with your friends. Golf with your friends. It's uh, it's like holy moly. 
the game. Really oh. funny. We're definitely gonna play some of that tonight. Because we're having connect strife. What's up? Yeah, wire servers so broken, didn't they? So they what they did was they implemented a re a reconnection. Like you can reconnect now. They're, I guess they're still working on the servers. 279, 276 from Bear. Choked in the last shot. 236 from me. I choked in like the sixth shot. All right, let's keep it rolling. So there's a fix, Strife. You just have to disconnect your your internet connection and reconnect while the game is still open, and it'll trigger the game to process a reconnect. Put bottom button on your right controller down, and it'll fill up a little thing. Oh, look, people are talking to each other in the game. Should I turn on my microphone? Welcome bowling friends in bowling. Premium bowling. What's going on? <gasps> I talked to them. They're like, who is this person talking like the Wizard of Oz? They're laughing at me. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Just gonna pop in like the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> We're gonna troll them. I think it's the people. Are you guys on the lane that just got the strike or just missed the spare? They don't wanna to talk to me. I have to turn the volume up. All right, that's a double guys. Ladies and gentle germs, you've been watching me on that. Well, that's what's up. Yeah, I see you sitting in there. All right. Let's see here. I wonder if we can turn the... Voice chat on. Echo cancellation. Oh, denoise. To start a stream. The yeah, site is fixed on oh. the rhino. Look at, look at. We'll turn the sensitivity. What do you think? High sensitivity? Oh. I wish I could turn the volume up of it. Oh, I hear him more now. Oh, this is great. I hear Karen. That's Karen! Guys, we can hear Karen, they updated. Oh, I moved my feet on accident. That's not the move. Good spare, good spare. Good move. That was a good move. Look at that ball drive. Yeah, uh oh, Karen. Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> Into the unknown, yeah. False Cape, they'll be playing live at my house on Saturday. I'm going to try to stream them live here. I want to see if I can't hook up the camera and the lights and stream them. Y'all can get a y'all can get a uh, a glimpse of the cape. They are just amazing. Go oh, bear. The look is gone. Gary's coming coming from behind here with a vicious. How many bagger in a row you got now? Is that 13 bagger? Yeah. Um, so we got it optimized as much as we can, Strike. We'll see. When it plays Call of Duty, it's gonna be choppy. But what I don't get is why wasn't it choppy when I was playing Call of Duty before and streaming to Facebook? I was using the same OBS, playing the same Call of Oh! Ham bone! Carry it! Is this the best bowling game? Yes. This is the best bowling game available if you're into bowling. Um, you can create your own bowling balls. We actually have our own server in our Discord. Um, 
I will link the Discord. I need to do that. But if you get the game, let me know. Yes, 900 from Mr. 900, no. Sadly, he missed the first two frames, K Chogs. Yeah, it's crazy though. I didn't realize the encoding would be more intensive streaming to a different service. Though before I was streaming automatically, this time I'm streaming like to a custom server, Strife. That way I can set up my settings um, through the YouTube studio because I haven't figured out how to set up the ad settings whilst streaming straight from OBS where it pops up with my little zombie guy and stuff for likes and follows. I miss him. I miss Sync, come on! Oh, I can't carry another Forpin. I can't get lucky twice. We did get one super chat tonight from Kendra. Much appreciate that. Super chat works the same way that the stars worked over on Facebook. Good luck with the two-handed bowling. I switched about five years ago. Yeah, man, I wish. So I started bowling two-handed in 2003 as a practice tool to teach me how to bowl athletically, to teach me how to get over the ball and, you know, open up my hips. Um, and use flexibility and use my legs. Um, and so that was kind of the trick to my one-handed game was that I, I, I used two-handed bowling to learn my body position, but I was never good at the actual swing and the release part. Um, my timing was always off a little bit for two-handed bowling and my accuracy was always off. I never really had a ball drilled for it. But I used to just grab my normal ball and do it. Um, and now that I've converted, and I never converted because I had I, uh, 450 RPMs, oh. 450 RPMs, uh, off my hand, one-handed, so like, why would I change? I had tons of tilt, rotation, stream elements, so you get the alert box. But I had the alert box on, I had the alert box on Streamlabs too, bro. But I had to stream like through, it doesn't give me the option to turn on any of the ad stuff when I stream through Streamlabs. Will I have that option on, cause that's the main reason we came over here, man. So that YouTube can give us some money. YouTube can help support the stream because Facebook wasn't showing us any love, man. We did some huge things on Facebook in three months. And we have more subs here. And I do all my filmmaking stuff on YouTube anyways. Uh, they take care of me, so. Alright. Yeah, I did, man. I'll see. I'll have to figure it out. I'll work on it some more. We'll work on it some more. Yeah, so instead of streaming through the automatic login, I have to use custom ingest settings. But it's all good. We're figuring it out. So how much you get two-handed? Okay, Strife, so when I first, when I was bowling, when I wasn't a two-handed bowler, I had the same rev rate one-handed and two-handed. Um, my hand kind of moves around the hand, moves around the ball in a very similar way. Um, oh, oh, paralyzer. Okay. I'll check it out, K-Chongs. Is it less CPU intensive? Because I've been having some... It's looking like I can't stream Warzone if, unless we fix that. That's the business. Yeah, because um, I had to nerf my settings to be able to run Warzone. Yeah, that's... I've got NVENC encoding enabled, but I have an older GPU, so I can't use any of the new style NVENC encoding. O OG OBS is the best. I have it, and you know what? I should set it up, because if I'm not... Oh, dude, thanks, Noah. This is a local band called False Cape. You can find False Cape, like F-A-L-S-E-C-A-P-E, -E, two words. You can find them on Spotify, Google Play, iTunes. All, oh, oh, that's not any better. All the places you ingest music. But dude, thanks, man. The local band, love them. <laughs> Bounce out. No good. Oh, dude. Thank you, man. They are great. Keep a lookout. We're going to try to stream them Saturday. 
They're playing in my backyard Saturday for uh, me and my girlfriend's daughter's graduation party. Yeah, I have OBS. I'll, um, I'll reset up OBS since I, I, I originally went to the other one so I could use all this cool custom, you know, alert box and all that stuff. But can't figure that out yet, but there's got to be a way. I'll learn. So, uh, I have to max out my bit rate at 2,500 for, um, YouTube. I used to stream at 4,500 bit rate, but not anymore. Now I have to stream at 2,500. It's almost like I should move my feet and I haven't. Yeah. Carry with redemption. Let's see how the second goes. We'll take it. We'll take it. What's up, 18 viewers? Everybody hanging out. Thanks for stopping by YouTube land. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. We'll let you know when we go live in the future. Appreciate y'all coming by. Yeah, I've got to move left or back to get some more speed. We're going to fagger it out, though. Yes, sir, oh. indeedy. I'm not going to worry about it. Going on. Pan. Nine needs cleaning. All right, Gary X. I think it's gonna be about uh, 190 here, 197-ish on through eight, 199-ish through eight. So right at about 200. We'll call him even through eight. I'm at about 30 under through eight, and he's got me in the set by 70. I pass bear though. Come on, bear. That's how you do it. Throw a double. Okay. Where are you at, Sea Lance? In the kitchen, yes, I know. I know. Yeah, my first time when I went live on this, uh, I got copyright stricken. <laughs> and uh, the music that I thought was Creative Commons wasn't. I got lied to. Smart right now. Yeah, man. Ah, Sweden, Gothenburg. Did I say that kind of close? Gothenburg? Gothenburg? I don't know. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Correct. That is correct. Primary and secondary ingestors. And the secondary is for low latency. I'm on secondary servers now. Yep, yep, yep. I appreciate everybody hanging out, man. We're going to be streaming every day this week. It's YouTube week. So we're celebrating. I need a strike here. This last game, it'll all be up for grabs. Gary, I'll probably run away with it. But uh, between me and Bear, we'll have some action. And if Gary flops, we'll have a game. I like it. I'm going to crack a Dr. Pepper here. Oh, push that. I needed that there. Thank you. Needed the needed the help there. Must be dealt with. Now that's a doctor. All right, cool. Not bad for a American. <laughs> Not bad for an American. What did I leave last time? How did I leave it? Was I still high? I don't know. We're gonna try. Did I come into the pocket too high on the last shot? Maybe? Gonna fagger it out! Oh wow, yeah, I definitely have to move those feet left strike. I should've listened to you a while ago. Backing up on it did so much, huh? You got this, fixing it now. The sixth pin and the tenth pin. I appreciate everybody hanging out with me here on YouTube. This is where we're going to be doing. It's been a lot of push for the gaming streams. Uh, we're going to play some golf with your friends, too. If anybody's got golf, do you have golf with your friends, Sea Lance? PC game? Do you have any PC games we can play together? Golf with your friends is fun. I know you mentioned the other ones earlier. 
Go with your friends is a blast, though. The PBA game is on Steam for PC, but... Is it cross-platform, though? Does anybody know? Oh, I didn't move. Uh, I hear you. Well, I appreciate you hanging out with us in the stream. You're more than welcome to hang out and chat with us. We're going to be here gaming. Try to do some daytime and evening time when I can. Figure out which ones do better. Um, start to shape the streaming schedule around viewership. If there's anything you guys want to see or any suggestions you guys have, let me know. Gary with another 8-pin. I was going to call him Gary 8 instead of Gary X. Gary 8 spare. <laughs> Clean up. How's he going to finish? 2.30 something. Unless he whiffs. I'm at 4.41 through 2. Gary's at plus 106 so far. He's probably going to get to plus 115 or so through 2. That's pretty rad. Again, shout out to everybody hanging out. 16 viewers. Y'all are the best. Thanks again. Oh, he rips a strike. That looked good. What you got, Bear? Finish strong, bro. All you need is a mark, and you'll leapfrog me. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to change balls. I'm going to make a ball adjust. Oh, no, I'm going to move left. That's right. Let's move left first. Because now I'll have dry to the right of me. It might be okay. I'm not going to ball change yet. Nice shot, Bear. Nice hey. double, Bear. Leapfrog, Bear. Oh, I'm in trouble now. Bear to save a 190 game here. Oh, shout out to everybody. If anybody wants to help the stream and let all of our friends from Facebook Streaming Land know that we're here now, hit that share button. There's a little arrow, a little whoop. Looks like a little right turn arrow. If you hit that thing and you can share it in an email, but that's not super useful. Hit that Facebook button, Twitter sphere, Insta germ, let everybody know what's up. 516, 469, and 441. You can see how the lane breaks down. This is why this is the best bowling game ever, Sea Lance. Lanes break down realistically. You get carry down. We got some push in the mid lane where it's pink. Where it's starting to turn brown here is where the oil's coming completely off. So the pink is push and the brown is uh, wear. It looks really good. Oh, Don! What's up? Speaking of Facebook friends, you found us on YouTube. How are you? Thank you so much for the super chat. Is this for PC? Yes, it is, Chris. PC only. This game is... I'm a, there's that move left. Little step left. All right. Yeah, man. Thank you, Don. How you doing? Moving over to YouTube. We had a little bit more stable stream. It's not quite... The, the quality's not as sharp, but it's more stable, so it turns into a higher quality stream, in my opinion. But it's nice here. YouTube takes care of us as well. Um, so we're going to be here. That's awesome. Cool. You're getting the alerts. That means they're working. Cool. Thank you for letting me know. That lets me know that everything is good. We're trying to use uh, Facebook to share it around to our friends because Facebook's a good social network for that. But YouTube protects me as a uh, producer and an artist and as a streamer. So, and it's, uh, I've also, I, my, my pride and soul, my brainchild, and my uh, passion project is the Bowling Science episodes on YouTube itself. So, um, this here is a nice way to bring everything together. 18 viewers? Yeah, we're getting it up, man. Appreciate everybody hanging out. Also on VR. Yes, it is on VR as well, but I don't have it. We're not playing on VR. Gary went to a Minotaur looking good. Throwback Mo Rich ball. Ooh. Hey, Gary, so everybody, I guess, has been getting their shirts in. Um, the uh, All the different Bowling Science shirts they ordered during the shutdown while, like, the shirt factory was closed and stuff. And um, everybody's been getting their shirts. 
I haven't even been like promoting them this week. None of the, you know, lab shirts, bone science shirts. And um, dude sold like 12, 15 shirts this week, man. Everybody's been wearing them and people have been asking them where to get them and people have been sharing the link. So it's been cool. The shirt, people wearing the shirts and bowling centers opening back up has been good for uh, bowling science in the lab, getting our cool shirts out. Cause uh, I kind of used the first month of shutdown to go on a creative rampage of um, designing some designing some merch for the channel to help. All right, that looks good. Help supplement the fact that I couldn't get to a bowling center and make any bowling science. It's like having the keys to your lab taken while you're in the middle of a big project. You've got enforced streaming server encoder settings on. I don't know. I don't think I do. I do not have that on. I don't think so. We'll find out. I have... No, I just have enable advanced encoder settings. But I don't have enforced streaming service bitrate limits. But here's what happened. When I was streaming at 4500, I was getting a warning from YouTube to tell me that they were cutting it on their end down to 2,500 on their ingest side and that I should turn my streaming settings down. Yeah, we need to open, Romeo. I think Sunday. The f Not Sunday, the first? When's the first? Anybody know when the first is? It's a secret. Nobody told me. Yeah, no, so I don't have that on. Oh, awesome. By the way, Don, welcome and thank you for your donate. Generous donation, as always. Don has been supporting the stream since we started this. And uh, a lot of what we do wouldn't be possible without you. So thank you very seriously, Don, from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I know. I know. Here's the problem, Don. I love the support I was getting from my followers, but I was getting no support from Facebook itself. Um, and I think it's better for everybody uh, to be on a platform where YouTube is going to support me and reward me and give me uh, tools to help uh, keep the stream as good as possible. We're going to add... Uh, we're going to have to add... Uh, we'll have to do something to commemorate... I'm going to do something to commemorate Dawn's 10, 11 week streak. She covered us the whole time on Facebook. You're right. Dawn and Kendra were the two uh, day one to day, what, 90 something donators? That was nuts. Whoo, shout out to Timo Toivonen too. He's the guy who created these bowling balls. I understand that. FB likes strong. to put people in AFB jail. Yeah, and you know, I was really hoping that they would invite us to, you know, we were getting up to a hundred, almost a hundred concurrent viewers, and I was really hoping that they would invite us to partner um, and get a, a bowling-based business partnered with Facebook. But it looks like they're not interested in that. And they just they just partnered with Mixer. Uh, Microsoft just shut down Mixer and moved all the Mixer streamers and stream people over to um, Facebook Gaming. Um, so there's a lot going on there. They're into paying huge contracts to big streamers of like big games. Um, and yes, Twitch does, Twitch would be a good option, but I already have my partnership with YouTube, and they YouTube and Twitch are both really good at supporting the little guy. Yeah, Facebook is mad. Facebook now they were giving me huge numbers, but see my people when they I've noticed my viewership here. Everybody when they view here, it's been you know. People view for 10, the average view is like 10 minutes here uh, on YouTube, on Facebook. You know, vast majority of the views they were telling me I had were like three second views and 30 second views. Um, so I think a lot of the numbers I was seeing from Facebook were really inflated too. Yeah, exactly. Whenever their contract tells them to, because if they're not streaming, they're getting paid to not stream. <laughs> That's the whole deal. 
they got paid so much money to leave Twitch. That was all that whole thing was. Microsoft built Mixer just to buy Ninja from Twitch because he is the Tiger Woods or Michael Jordan of esports, of streaming and gaming. So, you know, Microsoft said, hey, we need to own that asset. And then Facebook Gaming, Mark Zuckerberg said, let's copy Twitch's uh, format, do Facebook Gaming, copy it on the face value so it's the same experience for the users put it on facebook um what's up deja um but uh they don't support the little guy as a streamer and i mean i'm a little guy but i'm not that little of a guy Six thousand subscribers almost here on on uh on youtube that's our push we're pushing right now we're at 5600 or so 5.6. We're pushing to try to get all the way to 6,000, everybody. Y'all can help us out with that by hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already and sharing the stream with your friends at the share button. Let them know on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. Let them know that we're over here streaming premium bowling. Best bowling stream on the internet. That's right. Road to 6K, Chongs. That's big. We were, at, uh, we were on Facebook for 90 days. And I already had a thousand followers on Facebook, and I already had four thousand friends on Facebook personally, and a thousand followers of the page. We grabbed, we grew about six or eight hundred followers in ninety days. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, with uh, our original YouTube push before streaming, when it was just uh, bowling science episodes. Yeah, man, six K on the way, Romeo. I appreciate it. We're gonna try to get there. Gary's been with me playing since day one. Gary and Wrangler. They've been part of the Bowling Science uh, Discord here and playing the game with us. Back when we set up that first YouTube group. Facebook, we set up a Facebook group. Then we realized Discord was the way to go there. Y'all taught me how to not be a potential boomer. Y'all brought out my inner millennial and got me on Discord. Then y'all taught me how to stream because putting the videos on YouTube without streaming was not super interactive and not very exciting. Y'all are helping me out. I appreciate it. And now, I think we got a product here that I really enjoy. It's become, I've been really, you know, I've not never really been like a full-time gamer, never been like a guy to like sit down and just game all day. Um, but doing this show with y'all, it feels almost like a podcast, talking to people. Meeting new people, building the brand, growing the lab. As we get here to the fall, um, we'll have the website up and all of the jerseys and shirts out to our sponsored bowlers. Uh, we have a staff, uh, the glab, lab, the glab. Gary, the glab, the global lab. Yeah, I know. Gary X is part of the lab, uh, global staff. So is Timo Toivonen. That's our world record no-handed bowler. We also got the lefty Nick Senzaprano from North Carolina. I keep pestering people in Star Citizen that we need bowling. I mean, we will we'll be pulling basketball in the future. What is Star Citizen? I am completely oblivious. Let's pull this thing up. This is not playing anymore. Looking for an eight bagger. Let's pull up this Star Citizen that you speak of. What is Star Citizen? Game. Star Citizen, first person universe, discover space, build a life, start your journey. Space simulation MMO. All right. Yes. And that's where I was getting to, Romeo. Thank you so much. Romeo is a Patreon member. Boom. So's Gary. Are you in there, Bear? No, not yet. Not yet. I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Oh, get Gary to four. I didn't want to discount you and sell you short. We have 19 Patreon members now in the lab. That's our fan club, $5 a month. Easiest way to support the stream. Um, if you've got five bucks a month to help a brother out and support the stream, keep the lights on, we've got some exclusive content for you. Um, you get early access to, let me see here. I don't want to even miss anything. Let's see here. Let's pull up Patreon. And let's make sure we can... I don't want to miss any of our exclusives. Larry Morris. Let's shout out all of our Patreons. Larry Morris, 
Mitch, William Gannum, Brian K, Jeremy Miller, Byron Gall, Tony P, Brayton Smith, Matt Shepard, Don Campbell, Timo Toivonen, and Jason Marsh, Scott Nichols, Kent Goodrow, Scott Lope, Georgie Chewins, Andrew Tinch, Kendra Lee, and Solar Slim. All 19 of y'all. Shout out to every single one of y'all for supporting the stream. Um, but yeah, so that's been, uh, that's that. And let's see here. Let's go to our posts and account and view your profile. All right, our tiers. Let's see the tiers. Okay, tier one of membership and uh, about. So you get one-on-one -on -one video analysis. You can submit questions for Ask Dread. That's what we need to film. I haven't filmed Ask Dread yet, Gary. So that's got to go up. Kendra, will you write in the thing that I need to film Ask Dread tomorrow? Tomorrow we're filming Ask Dread. We have an Ask Dread question segment that we can film, put up on the YouTube. Oh, I didn't carry that for. And then uh, you can also get featured in an episode of Bowling Science if you're part of our $10 second tier. You get featured in a Bowling episode. You can do an intro, rather, so you can get featured in an episode. You also get uh, everybody in the group, $5 group, gets the one exclusive video a month. You get to see all the YouTube videos 24 hours early. We're trying to find, there's exclusive merch. Y'all can think of anything else that I can throw in there. I'm trying to provide high value in return for your Patreon membership. Yeah, 300 on stream. That's nice, Tablet Derp. Wing Commander, that seems cool. Yeah, Dawn's in there too. Yeah, shout at everybody out there. I didn't want to sell anybody short. I really appreciate everybody. All 19 of y'all jumped in in the first month. Today we gave away, uh, we do giveaways every month, at least one giveaway a month. This month we gave away a Bull Dry fan. I think we're gonna give away. Yeah, we, uh, the. Uh... Oh man, come on! I need to make an adjustment. I have not played the PBA game for Xbox or PS4. It's on stream. It's on Steam. I have not bought it. I don't really wanna. I haven't bought. Uh... Oh, I have socks, bro. Sea Lands. Have you seen? That's right. Uh, Sea Lance, I have to show you. When we finish this, I'm gonna pull up the. Here. You see down there the uh, teespring.com slash store slash bowling science? I think it's also in the description, the link. Um, check that out. That is our store. There are socks for both the red bougie logo, uh, the red box logo rather, and there are socks for the Mopey. There's socks also for the Layout King stuff. We do have socks, we have tons of shirts, no chamois, though I do have a bunch of. Ooh, pardon me, I got a little hiccups. I do have a bunch of Scotch Bright pads. Um, so we will be selling the Scotch Bright pads on the uh, we will be selling the Scotch Bright pads on the website or when we have the new website go up. New website coming together, bowling.science will be coming to you guys. Come on, Bear! Oh no, through the nose on the front nine! Yeah. Dude, Bear, you've been killing it though. 784 from Gary. Have y'all noticed that the high game, the high series today is 801? Do y'all want to bowl on something easier so we can uh, set reset the new high set for today? Because 801 is just abysmal. Horrible. <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to pull it up here. 260. See how he finishes. 268, 276, 268, 227. And that's a 784, 745, and 668. Look at look at the trough we built in the track. <laughs> that's beautiful. Look at that. You can't do that in PBA bowling. No, I'm kidding. Well, I'm not kidding, but. Alright. I'm gonna exit the competition. So what do you want to go on next then? Uh, I guess we go gotta easy. go to Christmas tree, right? I guess that's our next attempt. Let's pull this up for y'all. All right. Tea Springs Bowling Science. There it is. 
And then here we have the Bowl for Life Bougie Tea, which has this logo here with the both B4L. 100% uh, of the proceeds of that shirt go to support Bowl for Life, which is youth bowling scholarships here in the United States. Have a great night, Don. You have a good night. Thank you for hanging out with us. I really appreciate it. We'll be streaming tomorrow during the day. So we'll be doing that. Don't miss us. Um, but yeah, Bowling Science Boxes. This is the Left is Walled. Left is Walled comes in a bunch of different cool colors. Teals and pinks and yellows and blues. Uh, but yeah, the left side of the shirt is a brick wall. That's the back. That's the front. Um, it's kind of a joke for all of our lefties. And then... Yeah, I'm looking to stream probably about 2.30. We got the box pattern t-shirts in white and black. There's the socks that match them. And the all over big red tee. This is the Mopey, the Trippy Mopey. There it is, got the Mopey design. Um, and the black bowling science on the sleeve. That thing's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else we got in there. Bowling science backpacks. These things are amazing, good quality too. Um, I was pretty impressed. It's a good like medium duty backpack. I'm a lefty. Yeah, you shouldn't be offended, Deja. You should be honored. I haven't made a, a shirt for two-handers yet or righties, so. We have the Bowling Science Net Gator Mask. These things are amazing. Highly suggested. On the inside, it has a Bowling Science logo, so you can flip it reverse and cut the tag, and boom. Fanny pack as well. Layouts matter shirt. That was from a while back. This shirt's been around forever. This is not a political statement. Um, it's not a statement in anything like that. This was just when people were making videos saying that it doesn't matter how you lay out your bowling ball. That's right, the left is walled. Even in uh, Gürtenberg, right, Sea Lance? Here's my favorite, favorite piece of t-shirt art we've ever done. Mo Pinnell as the layout king, if you've ever seen Tiger King. This is that. On the back, it's got the Bowling Science Tiger King logo. This shirt is great. Comes in purple, navy blue, black, and white. I really like the purple though. Also comes in ladies shirts, also comes in tank tops. And there's your sacks. Look at that, your sacks. Beautiful. And then you can even get the uh, sticker. The sticker's pretty cool. I like it a lot. That's gonna be a jersey. We're gonna have a, uh, when the website launches, when the new le website launches, we'll have that. I can bowl again, let's go. Vlog it, okay, let's bowl then. All right, we're going to the wall. And then, uh, oh, we're gonna finish off the end here. The bougie pants are here, y'all. We got all over print Bowling Science bougie pants. There's only a few beakers on them. They're kind of kind of subtle. There's one right there at the break of the crotch. Um, but these are super cool. Um, and I haven't ordered. I don't have a pair of those yet. And then some basic stuff. Got the all black, the dread collection. There's a sweatshirt if it's cold. Um, like in South Africa right now, it's winter. So the sweatshirts are there for y'all. <laughs> now I get you. That's cool, man. Whoa, who's that? We got Robotron on our. Uh oh. Board. There we go. <laughs> so, no, somebody's mic. Somebody's mic was uh, malfunctioning. There's a all black on black bowling science shirt. It also comes in red, yellow, and green Rasta colors. Bim, Ja Rastafari. Now these are the uh, dread bowling science shirts though. So check those. That's my favorite color. Stop sign yellow. I well, that makes no sense. Y'all know what I mean. All right, we're done looking at merch but yeah since we had some new people that maybe have not seen it what's up 17 viewers sup shyler shy liner sorry shy liner anglin what's going on dude or dudette how are you we're gonna go to the wall let's find the wall oh we're going to christmas tree oh christmas tree you're right i lied and then of course we could try christmas tree after that i mean the wall jeez Somebody, somebody gave me some mix-up juice today. What's in this Dr. Pepper? Bear? Yeah. I see you. Okay, who else? Gary X? And I guess we'll grab, uh, is anybody else in the stream want to play? K Chong's, you, you want to bowl? Who else wants in? There's a lot of people on this list. Everybody's on. Everybody's trying to bowl league though. There's a non Blackson. There's Tom. Is that Tom from MySpace? Park Ranger Dave? Wink Owen? Is anybody here in the uh, stream playing with us? No? Alright, I'm gonna grab. Um, I'm gonna grab Tom, because maybe it's Tom from MySpace. 
You never know. All right, invite sent. Tom from MySpace rejected. He didn't want to be our friend. No. <laughs> he said he doesn't know. I need to get a practice shot in for sure. Bless up, dude. I appreciate you stopping by, hanging out with us, man. This is what we're doing, Owen Science. We moved over to YouTube, and uh, I'm glad you joined us here. Glad you followed us. Did you did you used to watch our Facebook gaming, or are you a YouTube subscriber, my friend? <laughs> All right. I gotta change balls. We're gonna go from the Zing Hybrid to a Closer Pearl. Not Closer Pearl. Yeah, Closer Pearl. Oh, did I tell you guys, when I cleaned out the garage today, I found some gems. I found a Black Ridiculous that has less than 10 games on it. How useful is that? You know what my dad told me today, Gary? I have a secret for you. Insider secret. And for the other 13 people watching. Oh, cool. That's what's up, Shiloh. Yeah, we, I've been streaming for three months on Facebook gaming. And uh, it's been going awesome. Having a blast. Brought it over here. Um, oh, darn it. I don't think I changed the ball. I brought it over here. And because um, Facebook wasn't taking care of me. And I like the YouTube family. So welcome. Thank you for hanging out with us. Yeah. So, Gary, the secret about the Black Ridiculous... The Black Ridiculous is a symmetrical version of the Katana Core. How about them apples? Now I that's know. ridiculous. Say I didn't have either of them, so... Oh, are you kidding? Dude, if no. you can get your hands on an OG Black Katana, they're around. It's worth the 150 bucks to get one. People have them. They're really good. I just guessed as to where I should be standing. I balled down. Uh, no, I guess wrong. I gotta move up. We're trying to break the record of 8.01 today. No, that's the, the high game for the for premium bowling today. Oh, no, Kelly Clarkson. Uh, oh, that's what's up. But yeah, no, so I'm gonna plug that Black Ridiculous. Oh, connection issues already. Fantastic. Let's. Because, uh. No! Ah, thanks, Romeo. Hmm. Well, Oh, dude, I'm doing great, Matthew. Welcome, friend. Welcome, welcome. Looks like the gang is uh, finding their way over here. We got about half the gang here from Facebook land. We got some new friends, too, so that's cool. We're playing some funky jams from Falls Cape in the background. All right, mountain retreat, y'all. Baby, when I was young. That's right. Gonna find that Christmas tree pattern. Everybody likes the Christmas trees. Who said they don't like no Christmas trees? I don't know nobody don't like no Christmas trees. Have I been able to bowl? The two-hand adventure is going well. Is going well. I have not been able to bowl since we filmed all the stuff you saw. I'm sure you saw the Zing Hybrid videos. Um, check out Bowling Science. I think episodes 22 and 23 maybe are the ones with the Zing Hybrid and the short pin results. Um, they went up last week. There's Gary. Gary get X'd. Park Ranger Dave gets an X. And Bear gets an X. Let's go. Let's go! Maybe Park Ranger Dave will play with us. Yeah, man. That's right, False Cape. That is the way we like it, isn't it? Ah. Dude, the Net Gator mask is dope, Romeo. I've been wearing it in public. In public. Let's get a practice shot in before the 
before the countdown comes. I don't even have a countdown yet. Oh, can y'all see it in the stream still? What happened? I just got a oh, the countdown. All right, cool. There's my countdown. Yeah, I got one. Yay! I don't like where this is because it's blocking the beautiful balls. So I think I'm gonna put me in the top right. I think that's what we're gonna do. I think that's how we're gonna do it. Okay. Start it up on the Christmas tree. Okay, I left the 10 pin in practice, so we're gonna make the micro adjustment. Tell Gary X, I said what's up. Matthew Van Horn says what's up, Gary. 900 X. Oh wow, that uh, hooked in practice. Getting late here, so I'll go into lurk mode. Good night, Sea Lance. Thanks for lurking. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for uh, chatting with us for a while, man. More than welcome to hang out anytime. We're going to have a PIBA event. The first one on YouTube ever um, is coming Friday. Yeah, Friday. Friday afternoon. It's the USA versus the world, so check it out. We started with a split, guys. Can't, can't win for winning. Can't win for winning. Oh, I also found I got stuck. So I found a black ridiculous. I found a blue ridiculous pearl, which is the same thing with a weaker cover. And then um, I also found an original Intel solid. <laughs> What's up, James? Yeah, man. All right. So I swear that hooked in practice. Now it's not hooking. Watch this one go through the nose. Oh, no. Okay, we're getting close. That's not too bad. Trying to make it a That's a better. All right, we're trying to break the record for today at 801. Gary's gonna try to put a 900 up here live. Let's go ahead and get the jinxes in early. What's up, Ganem? Lab Rat in the house. We did premium before. Um, and they kicked my butt. So now we are on the wall where they're gonna kick my butt again. But we're gonna try to break the uh, the high high set of the day's 801. So any 800 wins? No, 802 wins, not 800. You're right. Well, or an 801 doesn't. Practically, 98% of 800 will win. <laughs> you must be one of those Bowler X guys, Gary. Yeah. Always giving me a hard time. Oh, man. Now you're going to shoot 800 or 801. Well, you might shoot 800 or 801. No, I might now. not. <laughs> but we will try. Six, six, 601. Just got home from the first night of Sports Shot League. How'd that go, William? Good luck at getting that series. I'm not going to give up hope. I'm going to go old school tonight. 60 60 is not the business. Uh, 70 40 is not the business. Ooh, I heard a noise. What's that noise mean? The wall Maybe... ball is the business. That might be where I'm going. Where is the wall? There's the wall. All the way at the bottom. 65 hook, 75 length. Yeah, baby. Dickie V, baby. And we're going to take the spare ball. We're gonna get out of Bangland. I'm gonna go OG Bowling Science Spare Ball. What do you think about that? 570 for three games. Nice! What pattern? So no debate, dude. By the way, welcome everybody to our little home here on YouTube. If y'all wanna help tell everybody else that we've switched. Not only are we bowling two-handed, but we're premium bowling on YouTube now. Uh, instead of Facebook land. 
hit that share button. There's a little right turn arrow. Yeah, that's right. Gary's looking for 570 after two. Damn straight. That is a very high possibility. Oh, the wall ball. I forgot we made this ball to cheat and shoot 900 with. This ball is walled. Dude, should my should should the bowling sign spare ball be a brick wall pattern? Should we do it? Can make should it we... like, like walled split on four one side? Dude, we four we, we, we put a well because visibles are printed on either side, right? So you print the wall on one side and the other side could be like the red bowling science bougie logo. Oh, are you kidding me? Connection issues. All right, I'm gonna fix this. I just have two internets on, so I have to turn them both out. Now, that should let me back in. If, if, did you bring a short pin ball for the 35 foot? Strong lay strong ball, short pin. Oh, Into the unknown, yeah. Oh man. Into black holes. Y'all want to check out Falls Cave? These are my boys that we're listening to. Local band. They're funky. Funkadelic. Ten pin for the Exner, and he didn't almost miss that, y'all. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. You didn't see anything there. I turned around and walked back as soon as it was off my hand. <laughs> Ball and shark tomorrow, Intimidator. Yeah, that'll be a good ball. Depending on the layout, make sure you have enough surface. Surface not for hooks, surface for control, so that you have uh, you create more mid lane room early. Because the key to winning on that is who can miss two boards right in the mid lane and still hit the pocket first. Who's the first person to be able to access that with their? That's that's really how. You, oh, the ball hit the five pin and it didn't follow. Me. Threw a black hammer up five. Ah, yeah, we gotta work with you again, and we gotta get you some, we gotta get you some uh, short pins so that you can create dynamic ball reaction and uh, work it to your favor, my friend. Now I totally get, I totally get bailing out to try to shoot even with, uh, with urethane. I do that. I used to do that all the time. Used to, all the time. Now the two, I'm learning more and more about when to use each type of two uh, short pin ball. Right now I have an ASIM and a low diff symmetrical as my short pins. They're great. I'm still at box condition 45 by four by 50. That'll be really good for that. It's kind of big angles, James. So make sure you put a little extra surface. That's my suggestion. I'd throw like 500. Ah, uh, James. That ball is gonna wanna lose rotation until anyways and be smoother off the back because you have a smaller drilling angle than VAL angle. Uh, but that's a really good pin distance, only going four inches. Uh, instead of, you know, a lot of people will go five inches there, and it just ruins your rotation retention um, as the ball loses tilt. First game had 40 after four frames, SMH, and switch to your thing. Yeah. No, I hear you. No, I know that is, William. We got to get you in some looks. Got to grab up. I highly recommend getting a Zing hybrid or a Conspiracy hybrid and putting a short pin layout on it. You can probably get a conspiracy hybrid for a good deal. Both of those have Forge 2 hybrid cover stock, which gets down the lane pretty well. And the solid part of it actually helps uh, smooth out the reaction on the back. So you don't get overread. You get clean and without overread. And then you can use the, the short pin to tame down the big core and create a lot of hit. Yeah, it's my favorite too, Romeo. It's a, it would be real. For a one handed bowler, that's what I recommend. If you're a two handed bowler, Put the short pin on uh, on a low diff symmetrical, <laughs> like a counterattack or a phantom. I do not. A lot of people have been asking. Maybe next month I'll buy it when I get uh, when I get the next YouTube um, star donation um, check. Maybe I'll buy it. People have been pushing for it. Is it? It is on Steam. I'll buy the PBA game, but I will play PBA game streams. And the only way to play PBA game streams with me is to be a lab member. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. But if you do want to play live on stream uh, and you join the lab, you have 
first dibs, obviously, when we do have a bunch of people that want to stream and play. Yeah, that could also be, yeah, dude. Well, Ganem, have we gotten your tilt and rotation and PAP? If you can get that in to... That talks to you about bowling. Oh, you're the guy that talks to me about bowling and tennis shoes. Oh, you're, I hear ya. Got you. Yeah. yeah, no, I see. Oh, now it makes sense, James. What's up, Barry? Huh. You got connection issues? Yeah, and I recited it, and it's, and it's, and it's uh, Let's see what reconnect. happens. Let's give it a second and see if it happens. Yeah, fine. Get get your PAP. Get an accurate tilt measurement. Go bowling a few times first, though. Uh, well, which sounds like you already are. So that way your hands stretch out and everything. Uh, get your PAP on a on a flaring ball. You know, don't use a low flare ball. Don't use urethane. Don't use low flare. Grab a decent ball. Um, something symmetrical or asim, but something with you know 40, 50 diff, something that flares. Um, get your good PAP. And tilt measurement, let me know, and uh, we'll get you hooked up. Yeah, there's your PAP, but you should measure it again. Uh, and then you should measure your tilt, and then you should measure your layouts, and tell me what they are on the balls you have. And we can talk about if any of them are just don't fit. Sorry about that, Bear. No problem. Sometimes your internet's a little more problematic than the rest of ours as well. I've seen that. Yeah, get that stuff, William, and we'll work together. William is one of our uh, $10 Patreon members, and so he gets uh, full support with Video Coach. I got to do some video coaching. It's been a lot of work behind the scenes this month, getting everything rolling. I appreciate all my first month members. You will all get all of your benefits this month, guaranteed. Um, but I appreciate everybody who has supported me in this first month. And as we get rolling, everything will move smoother. Uh, making this move to YouTube is a big help. Once we get the uh, website switched up, that'll be a big help as well. Oh, no! Gary Wiff. Yeah, hop in Discord, Ganem. Why would I mind? You don't have to be to be in Discord. Come on in, Ganem. And we're going to play some golf with your friends later, too. And you play that with us, don't you, Ganem? Oh, no! Paralyzer! Oh. By the way, I appreciate everybody hanging out. Is anybody getting any interruptions on the stream? I'm getting a few, but I think it's because I'm watching, not on Wi-Fi. Oh, no bounces. I'm going to need some big games to shoot 800. Hugh, what's up, dude? I'm not going to pronounce all of that, but clever name. I like a good pun. <laughs> you see that, Gary? In YouTube chat. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's a good name. You win name of the day, Hugh. In my 30 some odd years on this earth, I haven't seen that one. What are you talking about? I'm just getting here to YouTube. I want to get hit with the, the ban hammer from YouTube gods. I don't know how YouTube streaming rules work. How many bad words am I going to say? It's your legal name. Is Hugh Janice your legal name? I'm sorry. I thought it was a name. Are you, are, wait, are you joking me? I don't know. I would say Hugh Janice. Is it Janice? There's no, is your last name Janice? There's no way your last, is, okay. I'm sorry. I don't mean, wait, you got me all switched up, man. You're appealing to my, I'm, I'm a very empathetic individual. I'm also trying not to get duped easily. But Hugh Janice just got me, guys. No, I know. There you go. Uh, that was good, though. I like it. I had to see what the face was. When you put the side face, 
as soon as you put an emoji, I don't know about the rest of y'all. Does anybody else feel empathetic when they see emojis? Mm -hmm. Like when I see emojis, I really feel like I'm connecting to the emotions of the person who sent it. I completely forget that it's so easy to just like fake it and troll me. I mean, who would think a guy with the name Hugh Janus would, would be a troll? <laughs> No, I, I, I welcome, I, I welcome lighthearted, gentle trolling. We're having fun here, that's all this is. If you can't laugh, you're in the wrong place. -na 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 -na. Yeah, that's right. Send a reminder for Friday's USA vs. the world. Yeah, we need to put that in Discord. What time should we do it at? I'm gonna go to Discord and at everyone. Everyone loves when I at everyone, right? Trigon's the only one that has a problem with it. At everyone. What time works best for everyone? For USA versus the world. Friday. Not four day. Friday. There we go. Although I'm a storm guy until like a week before COVID. Yeah. No, I like it. It's funny. It's good guy. Bought my first big beast stuff, Prism Warp and Hybrid. Yeah. Well, then you have three. You won't need a. You won't need an Angular ASIM for a while. If you do grab one, let me know. I'll help you out with a with a layout for the results because at Radical we actually study the numbers of the core after you drill it, as opposed to just the numbers of the core undrilled. So we have different layouts to achieve different types of intermediate diff ratios. And that ball in particular is designed to counteract the um, heinous weight hole rules that have been brought into place. Going to night, Deja. Have a good night, friend. Goodbye, friend. We'll be here. Thanks for hanging out with us as always. Dude, this has been awesome. I really appreciate everybody hanging out tonight. Fun stream, good stream. Hook ball! Alright, we need big games right here. There we go, we've posted in Discord now. How's Mo doing? Mo's doing well. Mo's doing well. I get to, get to go see him again next week. Um, I took him to some doctor's appointments this past week. I do the same thing this next week. Have a little light corrective eye surgery done. Has some cataracts going on. He's getting, you know, he's like 77 now, my dad is. So his, his lens is clouded. But it's cool. It's just like getting LASIK now to get your uh, cataracts fixed. They just replace the lens with a new lens. It's nice and clear. He now sees better without his glasses than he does with his glasses. So now that he can see, he might be... Uh, uh, I'm gonna save the jokes, but him and I always disagree about what we see when we do like ball tests and stuff We don't always but like when I throw the ball and he tells me to get down and get lower and I'm like my knees are all the way bent And I'm bent over to the ground. Maybe he'll see it. Yeah, he'll be hitting. Yeah, dude We haven't let last time he drilled a ball for me. We missed a line a little bit. It's not his fault He couldn't see so good That's better now. He's great at drawing lines on the ball Best person in the world to draw the lines. And he's earned it now to not have to drill him. Should have other people drill him. Oh, gross. Just had dinner. That's what's up, Matt. Continuing I skipped on, on dinner, but I'm gonna have some honest, uh, meat cupcakes. Some Is that other plate of meat cupcakes still in the fridge, Kendra? Sumptuous cleanup. Maybe we can get Ryan to heat that up in the microwave for like two minutes for me at some point this evening oh yes bowlers ranch stuff was good we're about to do a big study um on what happens when you drill balls big study on uh Symmetricals with weight, different weight hole placements. Show people what the numbers of a symmetrical ball are without a weight hole drilled in it, you know, with all the other holes. And then show everybody what those numbers are with three different po uh, popular weight hole placements. The double thumb placement, 
the down the VAL, the over and down placement, and the on the VAP placement. Um, so we're gonna show everybody how much the numbers change, how much the mass biases move, and why symmetricals are now completely different, and in most cases less effective um, for people who use big benchmark symmetricals. You know, anybody using those big 40, 50 dip symmetricals as your benchmark symmetricals, unless you're low tilt, uh, most of the time they're going to be not as useful. Um, so that's a big deal. We're going to be talking about all that. Yeah, Ganim. Ganim is what lane you on, Ganim? To your right. All right, he's on lane eight with the ball stopped halfway down the lane. Yeah, I got connection issues. Okay, so disconnect your uh, disconnect from your router and reconnect to it. And then, I already did. Oh, okay. I was about to say that's how we've been fixing it all night. Or pretending to fix it. It did work twice. They need to fix this shit. They will. They've been making lots of improvements. And they've been growing the game. Um, I know. I love what they've done. But and uh, it'll happen. It's growing pains. And I know growing pains suck when they happen. But remember how far we've come since the floating ball glitch? <laughs> oh, man. I don't know the floating ball glitch. Oh, dude, it used to be that, like, just randomly the game would pick someone to just make it to where you would throw the ball and it would knock pins over, but it wouldn't count, and then you'd have to bowl again. So we're going to see this oh. new ball that has Moe's favorite core. New ball with Moe's favorite core. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Willis. We got all sorts of new stuff. Which one are you talking about in particular, though? I don't know about his favorite core. I know, um,. Right now, uh, as bowling opens, we're gonna we're kind of relaunching the results in the closer pearl because they never really got their chance. They came out and then like two weeks later, the world shut down. Um, and the results is a major uh, a upgrade, not an upgrade, but it's a major advancement in bowling ball technology. Um, well, there is uh, the only thing that's been announced by Phil, I think, is the new symmetrical that's coming out. Oh, I know what you're talking about. So, there's a new symmetrical coming out in the Intel realm. Uh, new co new core um, with a new cover. Um, and it's really nice. It's cleaner. It gets down the lane cleaner than a closer pearl. Um, and it's less aggressive and smoother than a closer as far as overall hook and shape. Um, on the back. And uh, yeah, it's in that it's in that um, Intel Solid, Intel Pearl range, probably halfway between the two. Nah, dude, it would be cool to see some. I haven't heard anything about textured solids yet. We've only I've only seen textured pearls. Um, I think the way to do it though is to do textured hybrids, where you do uh, a hybrid ball where the pearl side is textured pearl and the non-pearl side, the solid part, uh, the solid color would be non-textured. That's probably the best way to implement it, uh, in my opinion. Um, also, what's up, Race? Yeah, um, didn't notice that was you, by the way. Um, no, he's working on a symmetrical that you can move the mass bias with different drillings on. Yeah, call us crazy. We're trying to do nuts things. That's what, that's, that's the next crazy technology we're trying to invent, possibly. My dad is a scientist. Crazy scientist. But yeah, I think textured hybrid would be sweet. Y'all do have to, you do know, the conspiracy theory is kind of a, a slow glimpse, almost to what a textured hybrid would be, uh, because it is only one of the colors is textured pearl. The other color is a, um, I believe, Forge 2 pearl. But yeah, the, the blue and the purple, only one of the colors has the texture in it. Just like how a hybrid only has the pearl in one of the colors. Um, that's how that works. So yeah, the conspiracy theory has only TP in one color. The results has TP in both colors. And it has a very aggressive form of textured pearl in one of those colors. We're just going to put that like that. That's all we're going to say. It's very sweet. But yeah, um... That's, so there's exciting stuff in the future. Um, I got to see a really big, solid ASIM in testing. Um, that I think would just be a nuts thing to introduce to the game. The game's not, I mean, talk, imagine taking one of the most, you know, popular, sought after bowling ball designs in the world 
from any brand, period, and having it interpreted through the eyes of Mo Pinnell, um, <laughs> you know, with Dynamicor and Brunswick covers. Are you kidding, dude? It'd be amazing. I just said, there's, there's always, my dad is always working on stuff that's about to come out two to four years down the road. Always working with the mathematician, always running numbers, always running uh, simulations. He never stops working, guys. And that's why he's the best. Yeah. Yeah, Zing Solid is probably one of the most versatile and powerful solid asymmetricals ever made. Um, obviously, and I the have one. The Conspiracy Solid is the biggest selling um, radical ball of all time. That ball was huge. Uh, amazing good. Uh, Black one? Yeah, same covers as Zing Solid. Color. Yeah, the, so the conspiracy, the conspiracy core to me is kind of like the modern 3D offset core, where it's rolly and continuous. Um, the Zing core to me is the modern skid flip core. It retains, it's the, as far as big cores go, it creates down lane rotation or maintains a down lane rotation to create that kind of reaction better than any other big, uh, big core ever done um that thing is amazing um it'll even turn heads around a no rules pearl and that's saying something no rules pearls go sideways <laughs> on the back if storm was smart they'd bring that ball back as a vintage <laughs> that thing is sweet um that thing rolled okay for roto but um yeah no the the um oh goodness the Blah blah blah. The Zing Core series is uh is uh godfathered in not godfathered in, but it's a descendant of the Katana core lineage. Um and the katana the katana stuff is some of the best stuff my dad's ever done before up until the results. So but yeah, so um they tend they have the same covers. So if you want um if you want something that's you know, you have the hybrid the Conspiracy Hybrid and the Zing Hybrid both get down the lane further and are less likely to overread the friction. Um, the solids both read real early and real heavy. There is no Pearl Zing. If we ever saw a Pearl Zing, it would be the reincarnation of the Katana. You would never, if, uh, if the Pearl Zing ever comes out, Gary, if we ever see one of those, you wouldn't need to get a OG Black Katana. Because then you'd have an OG Katana 2.0 with Dynamicor. Nice 300, Gary! Go, Look at that! sideways. Oh, it, it's gonna, it will. The OG Katana went sideways. I really hope we see that ball. Nice game, Gary! Yeah, I tried. Dude, we had the 300 on stream. Mate, was Chong's here to see it? Was that for you, Chong's? Yeah, no, that would be cool. Who knows when that new Solid Asymmetric will come? Like I said, my dad works on stuff that's years out. But, um, with the, you know, maybe it's a 2021 thing. That would be cool. 22. Probably 20, I would think 21. Right, let's hope 2021. 482 to 536. I can't do it, but Gary can. We're gonna, we're gonna have that 800 beat on stream. 300, 800 from Mr. 900 himself. The inspiration of the wall ball. I put together a nice little string there too, for myself. Oh, there's a 4-6. It wasn't the worst thing I've done. Yeah, I recommend picking up a, a Zing Salad if you don't have it, Race, but otherwise. What's up, Kenum? I was going to say, I can't see y'all bowling on my end, but I'm watching on stream, but you can see me bowling. I just saw, I just noticed that. <laughs> yeah. What lane are you on? On my end. Six. Six, Six. all right. I want to miss the 245. Nice. It feels like time passes slower on the YouTube stream, but it's a nice, comfy stream. Like, I, I enjoy it. It's different. It's a different feel. It is. I don't, I, and I'm trying to figure out why it feels so different. I'm using the same streaming software, streaming the same games. So, I mean, your, uh, your layouts, your overlays are a little different. In different yeah, I mixed it up a little bit because I had to come up with brand new overlays from scratch when I switched streaming services. Really? I did change the settings. Yeah, I did change the settings here. Let me see what it looks like in 726. I'm going on a sparrow pattern since it's the league pattern this week and it sucks. Yeah, oh, I'm up. I'm up! 
Let's not tug at seven boards this time, guys. Oh yeah, no, that encodes okay. I'm trying to see how the encoding looks at 720. That's right up the pink stripe. That's where we like it. All right, night viewers, shout out to our Super Chat donators today. Don Bass Campbell and Kendra Lee, thank you guys so much for the $3.40 of Super Chat action. All right, Gary. Missing in the first could have been the best thing to happen for the 800. Ooh. Into the unknown, yeah. Oh, I tugged it again. Oh. Poppycock. Yeah, no, I'm not in, uh, I'm not really in anyone else's Discord right now. I have, I should maybe check it out. I am in, uh, it might be a good way to grow our subscriber and viewership. Hold! Oh, I tried to make it. I made a 4910 earlier, guys, on stream. I need to record it. I need to, like, play it and screen record that mess. Because it was pretty great. Tamer bowling. Yeah, we'll have to check them out. We have a Discord for the lab members. So if you join our Patreon group. Which Patreon link is right there. Boom! Strike! Right there. It's also right in the description. Um, Patreon.com slash bowling science, all one word. You can check that out if you want to join the Patreon. We have an exclusive there. Oh, Kendra with the hearty faces. Kendra loves me, guys. Thank Somebody you so much, you. Kendra. Yeah, man. Not a stiffer that I know of either. Whoa. <laughs> How many stiffers do you know of here, Janus? Oh! <laughs> You walked into that one. Ah! Sorry. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Stafford. Yeah, man. Yeah, Race. Race, how's uh, the out how's the backyard bowling coming, dude? I have a ball specifically for throwing out back that I don't give a crap what happens to. So let me know. <laughs> yeah, man. It's always 7-10 here, Hugh. I don't know of those rips you speak of, but it is always 7-10 here. Yeah, you know what's crazy? The YouTube streams would go, like, they were so hectic. I would have, like, a headache when I was done. It was, like, very overwhelming while streaming. And, like... This is nuts. I mean, I know we have 10 viewers the whole time right now, 10, 15, not the 30 to 50 that we used to peak at, but it'll take everyone a minute to get here and I'm ready to grow the community. I think we're getting more organic viewership and I really like the chat here. Um, the chatting setup is way better. Go push over the tight bud. Yeah, I know the rain has been wreckage, right? Ryan! Hey! What's up, Ryan? Ryan's in the stream. Everybody say hi to Ryan. That's our son. It's Kendra's son. My bonus son. I get to be uh, extra looker over for the young man. Thanks for hanging out with us, dude, in the stream. He's a teenager now. He's now old enough for like a real YouTube account, real Google accounts. So he can hang out with us. Hey! He says hello to the guys and the gals hanging out with us. So, uh, race. Bowling opens up June 1st, I think. Yeah, dude, thanks for hanging out, Ryan. Oh, Ryan, whenever you come out next, do you want to heat up the plate in the fridge? It's got the man buns. And heat it up for like a minute and a half to two minutes and bring it out at some point. That would be dope. Why so is it hard. that every time on lane 8 I have connection issues? Maybe lane 8's bugged. No rush, though. If you're doing something else, Ryan, hang out. Do your thing. 
Dude, the bowling center's filling up. You see everybody down here bowling? Should we turn the uh, K-Dogs in the house? Wink Owen, Ganem, G. Banninger. It's lit up here in Premium Bowling tonight. Hey, Kendra. Ugh. Your son is in the stream. That's awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. Hey, oh. It's awesome. Hey, viewers, what's up, everybody? Rolling into hour two here soon, Ray Smith. Yeah, I'm so amped. I'm headed to spare times on Wednesday. Got to get up to Pin Boys. Yes, that's what I'm saying, Ray. So once bowling opens up, we're going to do a bowling science meet and greet type thing. So, yes. Three bagger. Let's three bagger it. Oh no, I tugged it! Get the whole six pin out, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm down, race. Yeah, we're gonna organize it. Me, you, Jason Marsh. Whoever else is local. Try to get Joey Hartsock out there. He's my boy. He uh, works in the pro shop at Lynn Haven, at the McCorvey shop there. And I'll see you to the other side. All right. Dusting it off now. Gary with the big split. Maybe 801 stands today. Man. Say I say goodbye. Yes. Wait, you're telling me Gary's not gonna shoot eight over eight hundred? Yeah, I don't think he's gonna. No, I can't. Gary, what the hell? Shot one away. It did. I tried it did. to switch it. Because Mikey bowls right-handed now. <laughs> I've upset the balance. There's no longer balance in all things. Balls, I'm now a, I... I'm now a two-hander. What else happened, Gary? Oh, everything's just lagging so bad now. Because everybody's here. Yeah, well, if Bubba's not measuring your tilt before he drills your ball race, unfortunately, as much as he might be the guy as, like, a person, he might not be the guy as far as uh, layouts goes. You know what I'm saying? There's not very many people in town that do things the right way. I can definitely recommend some people who know how to measure tilt and access point. I don't know if Bubba does or not. I don't want to speak ill. But if he's not measuring your tilt, we need to help all y'all out. I applied to work at McCorvey's. Um, I applied to work part-time and float around to all their different centers and uh, work with all their different ball drillers on drilling techniques. Um, and teaching them some of the more modern stuff and uh, I uh, offered to do it for like minimum wage and like just be a part-time helper guy and I got uh, they told me that there was no need for me so I actually led in last year November I applied for a lot of people McCorvey's um, a couple ball companies couple bowling centers couple pro shops I applied for a lot of stuff and everybody told me that I was not a valuable asset or at least worth adding to their team. And then I started Bowling Science. And three months later, we had 5,000 subscribers and we're starting to make a scene. Now, bowling ball companies come to us for content. It's been a little little flip script in six months, so. You tell me your dad wouldn't hire you? Oh, uh, dude, my, my dad works for Radical. <laughs> And I wasn't doing enough to, to work for Radical. But no, I applied to um, I applied to get on staff with the Brunswick family and all sorts of different stuff that uh, just couldn't happen. And um, I had to prove to the world what I was trying to do and what I was about. And I did. I got no problem proving myself. Got no problem working hard. And it's, it's honestly the best thing that's ever happened. 
Yeah, Race, I'm not trying to talk down on nobody. But yeah. If, if no one's ever measured your tilt or PAP, and they just drill your balls and put the pin wherever in relation to your fingers, like, oh, let's put this here above the finger, then um, they're doing what we call the Ouija board method. They're selling you smoke and mirrors. A bunch of snake oil, that is. That is why I started Bowling Science. Sardino. Because there's a whole lot of people <laughs> not doing stuff the right way, telling me that I couldn't help them improve what they do. I couldn't be a part of their team, a valuable asset. So I'm just going to go make everybody's customers smarter. And then when you go to get a ball done and they don't care about your access point or your tilt, then you can just walk out. <laughs> yeah, man, it's not... And it's not about, it's, it, really, this is about growing the game and about getting people in their pro shops more often. I'm not trying to take people away from their pro shops like some other YouTube channels telling you that layouts don't matter. I'm trying to sell you your own PAP finder where you got to get down on one, get down on one knee and pray that your PAP in socks is close to your real PAP. Spray oil all over your carpet. Yes. No, I'm sorry. I'm being negative again. Losing viewers quick. No, I'm just joking, guys. This is satire. Bowling Science is a home of satire, so I hope y'all don't. We gotta poke fun. People poke plenty of, people talk plenty of smack about my stuff and it's correct, like scientifically factual. So, and if I can take that in stride, people shouldn't um, take it fun, shouldn't take it wrong when I post, point out the fallacies. But yeah, man, we're trying. Dude, that, yeah, and see, that's the problem, Hugh. Hugh and Race. Okay, so the stuff that I learned about how drilled numbers matter and how using dual angle layouts to control tilt and rotation and how the ball loses it and controlling flare, all that stuff. All right, 709, 684. All right, all that stuff is stuff that I learned. Um. 15 years ago with my dad pardon me I got them hiccups me and my dad learned that stuff man um, a long time ago uh, I was his like lab partner kind of his lab assistant when he was doing a lot of his big discoveries and let's go to this cam here um, I got to learn a lot of stuff with him and from him and uh, you know 15 years ago we learned this stuff and my dad tried to teach it to pro shops we tried to work with pro shops at Mo Rich you know, um, and it's beginning to radical. Like, hey, let's empower the pro shops with all this knowledge, all this information about what happens when they drill these balls that we're, that they're selling, right? When you put the holes in it, this is what's gonna happen for your customer. This is how you manipulate that properly based on the rules, real laws of science, not just like high school physics that people think govern rotational inertia. Um, you know, uh, a lot of people graduated high school physics and think that they're experts in ball motion. Um, and it takes a long time and it's a lot of like really intricate stuff. Um, a lot of study. I mean, I've watched my dad, my dad invented layouts 40 years ago, 1977, right? So 44 years ago, my dad invented layouts. Like, and he's still been working on them for 44 years and he doesn't even have it figured out. It's not a statement of anybody being less than, it's just bringing the information out. but. So 50, I walked away from the game a few times over the last 15 years. Different stuff happened in my life, made some bad decisions, uh, then made some good decisions, went to film school, whatever. Um, but I came back to bowling and realized that most of the shops have just decided to tell their customers whatever the hell they want, believe whatever they want, and ignore the information coming from the people who design the bowling balls that they sell. The people who design the technology, um, they were people that were getting ignored by pro shops. So. That's why there's Bowling Science. The whole purpose, um, yeah, dude, he's awesome. I love my dad to death, and I feel really fortunate to have this relationship with him now as an adult. Um, but yeah, the, the reason Bowling Science exists is because even on the internet, but especially in bowling centers, the loudest voice in bowling is the old wives' tale. Everybody telling you to square your shoulders up and lift the ball and push it away. Right, tell you to drill, pin down symmetricals with the pin five and a half inches from your PAP. Right, all that stuff, all these people. Um, and I don't, nothing wrong with the people. They're just uh, misinformed. And they're very passionate about spreading their misinformation. 
So I just wanted to have an alternative available for the world by creating bowling science. Something based on realism. So that maybe the pro shops wouldn't have a choice. Alright, I'm gonna invite people. Or we'll play one more round of bowling. And then we'll move over to golf. Gano. Are you here, Gary? Or are you bopping out? What's up? Are you gonna play some more bowling or are you gonna bop out and we'll play some golf later? Uh I think I gotta get out. Go to right. bed. No, that's what's up, man. You got you have a hard working job. <laughs> so Yeah. Thanks for playing with us, dude. I appreciate the run. I'll be on sometime. That sounds good. I'll be around. I'm going to grab Big Mama, too. That looks like a fun match. Ganem <laughs> and Big Mama. Let's try them again. Scott's right pads, are they legal for surface? They're legal to use before. They're, it's, it's a surfacing pad. You have to use it, um, I think, is it before practice starts? Or can you? some tournaments you can use in practice, I think. Some tournaments are before practice starts. But um, they're great for using by hand. Like, say you show up to the bowling center, you know, and pro shop's closed. Or uh, you just want to put some surface on your ball without spending three bucks. Um, they're good for adding surface. Not as good for smoothing the ball out. There's a white pad that I... Um, Used to market that I have that's good for smoothing it out a little bit to, fix it now. to give you like a skip Some grit skip grit speed. action but yeah dude burgundy scotch bright and gray scotch bright are my two favorite levels gray is like a smooth gives your ball like a, almost a 1200 finish and you can do it lighter or deep harder to get different grits all right Ganem go down and then we'll play some golf with Ganem because golf is fun Yeah, see, um, bowling balls after six games pretty much are all at 5,500. Oh, I gotta move left. So, you know, what's my favorite ball cleaner? Anything that doesn't add any tackifier. So, um, just uh, any, any good ball cleaner that, you know. I personally, my favorite, wait baby, will you grab it? Kendra, I actually do have a favorite, but you can't buy it unless you live locally. Will you grab it, retackify. Ray Smith can buy it. I have a, I have your favorite ball. Will you grab the retackify? I have a bottle. Uh, I have an old bottle that I found in the garage today um, of Gary Faulkner's retackify. He's got new bottles now, they look better. But over at the Bowler's Edge Pro Shop in Norfolk, my buddy Gary Faulkner, he's got the Paddock app and uh, the In the Bag app. That he's just launched. In the bag is great for keeping track of your balls, your layouts. It's like two, it's a dollar ninety-nine or something. Best two bucks you could spend on your phone. No boobies, but it's a good dollar ninety-nine. All right, here is my favorite ball cleaner. USB-C approved anytime. This was before they made cleaners illegal during use. This cleaner used to be illegal during play. And it's an all-natural um, degreaser base cleaner. Um, completely natural solvent um, in the cleaner. And uh, it's awesome. It smells like freaking oranges. Really strong, formulated uh, with a organic chemist that makes the stuff on an orange farm. And uh, yeah, he worked. He worked with them to get a specific formulation that works great for the bowling balls. Mainly, it was a formulation that wouldn't melt the plastic because it's in the in the tube <laughs> of the spritzer because it's such a strong cleaner. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, you have to realize that Scotch Bright's been in the back pocket of every tour rep um, since the 70s or 80s. 30 years they've been on the in the pocket of every tour rep on tour. While they're in practice sessions, walking up and down. Hey, that looks good, but you're going to need more surface. Or hey, that, you know, they're great. And back in the day, they used to do funny stuff where they'd sand the front, but not the back. Or sand the back, but not the front. Sand different parts of the lane. Now it's illegal. You have to sand the whole ball. Got to sand the whole thing, everybody. No cheat. We're going to try to still beat that 801, guys. One of us is. I don't know who. <laughs> We're going to try. 
I just have to acknowledge the change when it happens. Yeah. Yeah, man. Appreciate everybody hanging out again. Seven viewers. We've been hanging out here for two oh, hours. Wrap a ten. If y'all want to help the stream, hit that share button. Share this with all your friends on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. I'm gonna do some sharing. Does it share to Insta? Ah, oh, I can share it direct on Insta. So we can share it. Uh, share it on the news feed. That's right. Last match with at William Gannam. Are you tagging me on? Yeah. Insta? No, no, on the no. on the on the book. You know, no. not the gram man on the book. Gotta be hip. I'm just kidding. I qualified at Pinboys for Junior Gold before it got cancelled. So I have love for that house. Yeah, that's a great place to bowl and qualify for junior gold, man. And uh, now we have clutch, so you can watch your ball go down the lane and trace it and everything, dude. Got to do some clutch. Woo! Try to put up this 290. I wish I'd have adjusted my feet from the first shot. Oh, Jesus. I adjust off the rack pin and I do that. Crap. That's what I get for doing this. On premium bowling. This is an important before we one more strike to a double turkey. Head over to but we can never go as into the great unknown. Are you still a junior gold bowler, Ray Smith? Oh, that's got a push. Oh, with a right is rolled. Yeah, I'll show you. It's new. They just installed that stuff, Grace. All the clutch and everything. Um, lanes 9 through 16 have clutch and specto. Uh, I think clutch is more useful as an athlete if you're training as an athlete, as a bowler. Um, specto is good if you're trying to understand your layouts, but that's what bowling science is for. If you just trust... Oh, no. Mark Best is in the house. Oh, I wrapped a tent! Oh no. But yeah, now that it's, uh, they've got it fully operational now. And there's fun stuff. You can play like, uh, uh, like a football game or a basketball game or like battleships where you throw your ball and if you hit the battleship that's floating on the lane, you know, uh, it'll explode and stuff. It's pretty rad. Oh my God. Just my speed was 0.2 faster than the last time. Last match and 800 run with William Ganim on premium board before we head over to at golf with your... Oh, I don't know which one's the real golf with your friends. Whatever. I'm going to tag that one. Are you <laughs> trying to tag the one that has the most... Well, I can't even see. It's just I picked the one with the most believable um, uh, picture, yeah, avatar. Get up! All right. I can't believe I wrapped that 10 with you. Tag the friends as usual. There it is. I'm just going to keep the speed down to 23.6. That, my rap 10 got to 24.0. Oh no. There's the That's post. Try to get some more friends here. If y'all want to help support, hit that share button. Share it to Facebook. Share it to a group. Let them know. Bowling Science has moved over here to the wonderful amenities of YouTube streaming. It's crazy. I watched uh, streamers, you know, streamers stream for hours, right? Six, eight hours at a time sometimes, right? A lot of these pro gamers that stream, you know, overnight and all this other stuff. And I was sitting here going, how do people stream that long? Like, my brain, it's just so hectic. And I was on Facebook. At a pace like this, man, I could stream four hours. Um, by the way, it is the wrong golf with your friends. Nice. <laughs> and I have connection issues. All right, we'll see if you can't fix them after I throw this strike. 
I have one more shot. Yeah, try to fix it now, I guess. I'm changing internet. Yeah, I'm going to finish 269 here, game one. Come on, work. Oh, yeah, man. That's what's up. I appreciate it. I think my jerseys are still available from Bolify, my old jersey sponsor. Um, There's some there, but hopefully we'll have the new jerseys up. Um, the new rad bougie ones that are my designs, not just my logo sitting on top of their designs. There it is. Um, it worked. Yeah. We're going to have the bougie logo. We're going to have a Tiger King one. Layout King. Uh, Layout King is going to be one. Um, and then we're going to have a bougie one with this uh, Louis Vuitton looking logo. But we're going to do have two you, different two have different you jerseys. What, um, what company? Or are you still holding off on that? I have not announced my company yet. I am holding off. That will come with the announcement of the website. I need to call them too. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Get him with the paralyzer eight! It's okay. That ball the ball just stopped hooking. It hooked and it stopped. Yeah man, it's what happens as the front start to burn up and the mid start to push. Start to lose shape. Two sixty nine. Continue. Hey, Kendra, you want to turn the uh, AC up to like a lower temperature? And maybe not on high, but a lower number, like temperature wise. Let's see here. All right, both. So good night. Uh, yeah, both so good might have to get both. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> That's what's up. I appreciate it. We're going to. um. The pants will be perfect. The pants will match the bougie jersey. The joggers. I don't know if you can bowl in joggers. And you might not be able to qualify in joggers. But you can use them in a, you know, junior gold league and some different tournaments. I don't know. Do I play anything else? Yes, I do, Hugh. Play golf with your friends? I'm trying to work on playing Call of Duty Warzone. Um, I like playing it, but my computer, I play on PC. So it's uh, not the best for uh, playing that game and streaming it at the same time. Uh, on the PC, because it it just, it, it's my CPU and my GPU. Mm. I just, if I had a stronger CPU and a better GPU, I could do both. It's just because encoding graphics video while playing like a very graphically intensive game is just heavy. My PC setup, um, I run a, what are we, I, is this i9, i7? i7 or i9, 8600 with uh, 10, six, a 3 gig 1060. Yeah, I have, I'm running a Ryzen 3600 with um, the thing in the GPU is uh, 16, GTX 1660 Super. Nice. To, like lay down baby pick something if you're feeling like that 290 run let's go all right what is up yeah for a medium speed medium rev player well it depends on your tilt you can't just give a layout you have to give the layout based on access point and tilt because where the holes intersect the core in relation to the core itself matters so we adjust we, we pick the layout based on your tilt and then we adjust the numbers based on your PAP. Oh! You Didn't bring, you say that because of my PAP it's possible my tilt is low? Because you're what? My PAP, the way my PAP is that my tilt's probably low. Well, I mean probably, but that's no way, there is no direct correlation. Okay. There is no direct correlation between PAP location and tilt. Just most people who are more than five inches over have low tilt, and most people who are less than four inches over have high tilt, if you're one-handed. If you're two-handed, all that goes out the window. Most two-handers are full rollers, but. Well, I mean, yeah, we I know what it, it told you that I track, you trying to figure it out where I, it was low because I track like near the fingers and thumb. Yeah, but it depends when I, again, it doesn't, it, that's, you have to measure the distance across the track. Because right. you might just track more on the front of the ball instead of the back of the ball. 
You know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's yeah. So, everything at that point is speculation, and that what is that's what has led to the state we're in in bowling right now. So right. I don't want to do too much. Yeah, four and thirteen, oh, four and three sixteenths over, with thirteen degrees of tilt. Yep, those are the numbers that you can give uh, accurate layout help off of. That's right every time. Strike. If I do it the other way, I'm just bubbling it. I don't want to do that. He'll get mad. I don't want to use his name for it. I don't mean anything negative. I have a lot of friends that are great people who just don't know much about modern layout techniques. Or, I mean, if you're laying out balls for competitive bowlers or anyone with more than one reactive ball, there's no excuse to not have an access point. If you're not measuring the access point for somebody's second reactive ball or for anybody who bowls in anything competitive, especially junior gold, then um, you're just stealing their money. You're just being lazy. You might as well go sell sneakers. You know? And I used to do that too. I'm good at selling sneakers. But I got out of that because I actually have a passion and a knowledge base in something. And I went to film school so I could learn how to share it with everybody. Eventually we'll make a movie. Well, you are working on a movie right now. Uh, those little yeah. short films. Yeah. I'm ignoring... Um, I have to do a lot of work for my current class. I'm in an acting class right now uh, for my film major. Acting for directors. And I have the worst memory ever. And I have to memorize and perform this giant monologue. Like with no editing. So upset. I just realized I need to get you a video at one point. Yes! And I need to look at the videos that people sent me. I have looked at them all, but I haven't done my little in-depth analysis thing. I want to just set up time with people and hop in Discord with them and look at it and talk to them about it. I think that's the best way to do it. See, I need to... I probably need to do a more recent video now because the video yeah. I sent you... The and video I'm I sent you was like first day after or my first day back after quarantine and honestly the best way is to get someone if you don't have a tripod get someone to help you and take one shot from the side where the camera doesn't move and it just shows your entire approach from beginning to end right and one shot from the that you know do take one landscape right that shows mm -hmm. your whole approach from left to right and take one vertical that shows your approach from front to back from the back right. you know what i'm saying so a shot from right behind um, at like chest height and a shot from the side at chest height. Uh, best thing to, to coach off of. Mm -hmm. And it, usually if you do the side, you have to be like two lanes over, right? Making sure you get the full approach. Is that about right? Yeah. Well, yeah, race. at least uh, if you have to plug weight holes, I would look at adjusting layouts for at least the symmetricals possibly. Um, and then we can look at how the, how the stuff's laid out. You come see me, race. We'll get your axis point, your tilt and uh, measure what layouts you have and see how they work with your game currently. See what's good, see what could be adjusted, and see what's not worth messing with just to you know, possibly replace in the future. Um, and get you all right. You never know, there's some, you know, sometimes people guess good four times in a row. I don't like to take those chances. Every time you guess on a ball, your chances of getting them all right diminish. Like, <laughs> exponentially. The tenth pin to clean up. I am freaking failing. On, I have to now strike out to shoot 800. I'm losing my chances at this 8-0. Not making the adjustment. Just getting push, 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 and not moving. If you like the stream, make sure you hit that like button. Also, make sure you're subscribed and have that notification bell. R r lit up red so it ring-a-ding-dings when we go live. You'll get alerts. Uh. Go! I pushed the 8 over. Got lucky, didn't move. Yeah, absolutely. When Pinboys opens, race, once it's officially actually open, accepting customers, me and you will figure out a time that's good for you to come down to the beach. We will... Um, we will reserve the lanes at Pinboys. 
Oh, well, do the damn thing. I'll get you right. I need to come drive to Virginia then. Yeah, man. Absolutely. I uh, I don't uh, I don't drill. I don't drill at Pinboys. There is a ball driller there. Um, and I bet you he'd be willing to plug and drill it. But I also do work with some other people that plug and drill locally. Um, that can hit our layouts and needs. So there's all different things we can work on. I have some ideas. It's all possible. But what we do have is the. Uh, Prosect and armadillo and ball cups and grease pencils to figure out what we need to figure out To get the ball drilling done because it doesn't matter what you do in the shop if you know if it's not based on anything realistic Ooh, I made a good move. I got me cupcakes from the woman that loves me Not only did Kendra donate to the stream, but she made me meet cupcakes Oh, and then I do that. God. So much for 800 for us. I bowl at Pinboys oh. normally. I've gotten stuff drilled all over. Gary Faulkner in Norfolk's really good. Joey Hartsock at Lynnhaven has done some of my stuff. He's a McCorvey guy. I've been working at an off-site. Uh, a pro shop that's not in a bowling center doing some of my stuff recently um, with a good personal friend of mine who's working on a bowling business that's not 100% like um, out in the open yet as far as like being open to the public he hasn't launched it but he's all set up and we can go in there possibly lots of places whatever works best for you I don't I don't want to get into the politics of directing people where they should you know get their ball drilled. I'm not trying to piss off any pro shop guys. I'm trying to support all pro shop bowl, uh, operators. But that in itself, wanting to support everyone pisses some people off. 507, 495, it's a barn burner. We might not shoot 800, but it's a barn burner. Yeah. Oops. Go ball. Oh! I made the adjustment and the 10 pin laughed at me, guys. Stand up and fight. I'm trying to catch you. Well, Especially I now since you can't get the 800. I'm oh, catch and I you. missed. Oh! Spare. No, it did not. Did you? Dude, I don't think, I don't know if it, I think it hit, it, it, it hit as it out. fell. It didn't bounce, no. I just watch a replay. No, stop. It, it hit as it fell out. Hit the X button, hit the X button. X? Hit X. I did. Oh, on the controller? Oh, that yeah. X. It didn't hit the bottom of the gutter, but it was bouncing back and forth between the sides. You see it? It hit the oh wall. Oh my god. It hit. Oh yeah. That might have made this. I now know how to shoot at the 710. Thanks for that, William. Now we know how to do the replay. Wow. That's some crap right there. Okay. Yes, I'm streaming tomorrow, Race. We're streaming every day this week for YouTube Week. Trying to spread the word that Bowling Science is now on YouTube. Tell your friends, tell your bowling buddies, share it on Facebook. Let them know we got a dope bowling stream here. Oh no, guys. I'm about to get worked. The comeback is real. I was only down by like 12, I think. Something like that. After game two, yeah. Yeah. Game one, I was down by 30-something. Yeah. Because you shot 269. I think I should take the lead or something. I did, I did. That's okay. I appreciate you hanging out with us, race, dude. And, uh, dude, more than welcome to hang out anytime. Loving the uh, relationship I'm building with some of my regular streamers. I think we're going to build better relationships here on YouTube. The home of bowling science. We've already gained two subs today. <laughs>
All right, I'm gonna keep moving up and right, and then it's, I hope I don't go through the nose. I hit a limit to where I can't keep moving. Oh, I tugged a little. We got a little holes. Oh. Was it a huge tug? Hey, that was good. I mean, I hit the left side of the head fit. What? No, Wait. that's what happened. That's what happened to me today. I um. It looked good from down here. Yeah, it looked good. I think from that camera angle, just to, it did, doesn't look good, but. Yeah. No, I uh, when I was bone. Ah, oh, there it is. When Thank I was bone today, yeah. I was um. I pulled one like, I swear I pulled it like three or four left, but I got so up the back of it and I had a little bit of speed on it, it just held and hit the pocket. Well, My teammate was like, how did you just do you, that? You, well, you were throwing your thing too, right? Right. So when I talked to Tom Smallwood about how he plays on short oil, mm -hmm. he talked about how he can, he, I mean, he does, he didn't do a whole like, oh, urethane's cheating, right? He doesn't think that. But he did say urethane is almost a cheater ball. If you look, if, oh no, I threw in the gutter. Oh no. I did it. He said, your thing is almost a cheater ball, the way it's used on tour with those guys with their great games. With urethane, it's the only way to artificially create hold on a short pattern that's designed to not have any. So he said the guys use it to create that two to three boards of hold that if they just, if they pull it with their fingers and it just gets flat and up the back, like you described. Mm -hmm. See, it my creates thing hold. Like I was getting up the back of it just because I have a tendency to pull left. But what was nice is that when I did miss right, it would hit. But how that. do you make the adjustment to go up the back of it? Do you change your hand position in the stance? Or do you no, change I, how uh, you come through it? No, what I've done to kind of help with it is I, uh, I close my um, index finger a little bit. Okay, right. so have you seen the hand positions video? Uh, I have not. Okay, I did a hand positions video talking about how to adjust your to, to leave everything the same about how to keep your follow through the same and how mm -hmm. to adjust your hand position um, in the stance to create more tilt in rotation or less tilt in rotation. And um, okay. it's very consistent and very repeatable. Um, Is it usually just kind of I mean, I'll watch it too, but it's yeah. usually kind of where you like lean your hand forward a little bit and lean well, so, back. So I normally recommend using a broken wrist anyways. You don't want to cup the wrist. You want to be flat or broken, right? That gives you that, that wrist break, right? Actually, well, we can do I can, it. I'm going to do it live on I, stream. I'm going to show you. I can only do so much because of I've had wrist, wrist surgery. Absolutely. And all yeah, no. So, you're, But your goal is to be as relaxed and flat as possible. The right. real goal is to get the weight of the balls on the pads of the fi on the fingers. Like at the... Here, let me, let me pull this up. I actually have a video. Let me show you guys. You want the weight of the ball here for your normal hand. Especially if you have low tilt, you really want to get the weight of the ball here. Most people with low tilt, the weight of the ball is too much in the palm. Where, all right, let's see here. Where their hand is like this, right? So the weight of the ball is back here. So if I'm looking straight at you, the camera angle is straight on, okay? So here we are. This is, we'll call this neutral hand position, right? Where the, if you draw a straight line from the center of the elbow through, through the forearm, right? It goes right through these two fingers, mm -hmm. okay? So that's that straight line. Now that's your base hand position, right? More tilt and rotation, and you can, I like to do here. So the more you can do this, right? The more you can break the wrist to get the weight of the ball forwards onto the fingers, the better. And that allows okay. your wrist to be smooth. And it does this in the swing. Your wrist will naturally cup at the top of the back swing and break as it comes through. It'll naturally do that. Uh, let's well, see. Now, but, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. There we go. So your your swing will naturally do this as you come through the ball. It's just what happens even if you don't realize it. But um, what I recommend for your hand positions, if you want less tilt and rotation, the hand goes this way around the ball. So you get the weight of the ball over the over the pinky. So the tip of the pinky should feel the weight of the ball. So if you can get in, you can go halfway where the hand's at 45. This uh, line here between the bridge. 
it's 45 degrees. But you can get all the way here on the side with a broken wrist as much as you can, right? This here it is from the top. The broken shape. Uh, down and back. Um, but there's your low tilt rotation hand position. That's normal. And then if you want more uh, if you want more tilt rotation, right? Instead of cupping, the wrist actually cocks. It goes this way. So you turn it to where almost like when you're grabbing a doorknob. Okay. But imagine grabbing a doorknob without cupping your wrist at all, just leaving it perfectly flat. So the fingers go left, the straight line down the forearm either extends, you can go halfway there and extend it down the index finger. So now the weight of the ball is on the index finger, right? And then mm -hmm. if you go all the way, you turn it and the weight of the ball comes right at that line down the center of the forearm, comes out here parallel to the thumb. Okay. And that's, now my, that's your high tilt rotation, normal and low. Now I just showed the extremes. Mo I recommend starting here and working this way, just halfway. So you start in the middle and you practice with low, low rotation and tilt, but only go halfway. Then practice normal, then practice with high rotation and tilt, but only go halfway. Right. See, my thing is like, um, I have, I've had two surgeries on my ri my right wrist, and yes. the second surgery they had to put pins in it to where I can I can't go more than forty five degrees with my wrist okay. front or back. So so the, it's like yeah, I'm it kind of limits. I mean, you. like you said, I mean, what you were showing at some point was an extreme. Yeah. Um, but well, sometimes I, I can. Yeah, I was showing you what I use as my extremes for sure. Right. Yeah. So, like I said, I mean, I can only do so much, but... Yes. It shows you the principles behind it of what you're trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. And what I like to use as a, as a bowler, the feel, is which finger... So, for you, it might start where your neutral hand position has the weight of the ball on the two gripping fingers, right? Mm -hmm. your, low tilt ro your low tilt rotation hand position might have the weight of the ball on... Let me go back here. Might have the weight of the ball here on the pinky and then you'll have the weight of the ball here, and then you can have the weight of the ball on the index finger for your high tilt rotation. And you know, just work it, what's comfortable, obviously stretch and you know, do what you can to um, help keep the tendons and the ligaments loose in your wrist before you bowl. Any type right. of wrist. I, yeah. I stretch it, um, I stretch, like I do a lot of work, just because I have to or it gets stiff. Um, but like I use um, KT tape and I actually wear a wrist brace too yeah. just because I've been told that if I don't wear a wrist brace I could have more wrist issues so so at least what, I, or, uh, what wrist brace do you use I use a Robbie um, it's not the full on metal it's the it does the it three strap to... one yeah okay with the glove no, it's not the glove. Okay. The Rob, I know what you're talking about. I will tell you, oh, by the way, later, Romeo, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you, brother. Have uh, Go do some important work tomorrow, and we will see you. Yeah, the Nintendo glove. No, um, the Mongoose. Uh, Mongoose makes a glove called the Lifter. The Mongoose glove. The Mongoose glove is the, uh, well, it's a Robbie, so that kind of explains. The three-strap Robbie, I know what you're talking about. The, um. The mongoose uh, is by far the most comfortable and most supportive and least inhibiting wrist support. Um, the mongoose actually allows you to change hand positions without losing support and without strapping your hand like into a metal device. It's very right. soft. Um, it's very lightweight. Um, and I highly, highly recommend the mongoose lifter. If you are a glove user and you have like wrist pins and all that stuff going on, I think one of the best things that you could try is the lifter from Mongoose. Um, if worst case scenario, if it doesn't work, if it's not great for you, you're out 40 bucks, which is, you know, less than most people waste on shitty bowling ball layouts. Um, and best case scenario and most likely case, you find something that might be a little more comfortable and might allow you to do more with your hand while still being supported. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I mean, that thing has been the best thing around for 20 years. The Mongoose Lifter is nothing new and they haven't changed it in 20 years other than making other colors. There's no reason to. 
It's phenomenal. My thing is that I know I can't wear that one in PBA events because Mongoose is not part of PBA from what I understand. Well, how many PBA events are you bowling? I'm trying to bowl at least three or four, like, regionals, trying to get it to bowl oh. some of the national stops, especially more local when I can outside of my job. It is what it is. I yeah. like to, at the regional level, I like to bowl some of the big tournaments that aren't PBA regionals, like the big regional scratch tournaments, the ones that are, you know, same distance you would travel for a regional. Right. Uh, you know, the big scratch tournaments that pay $5,000. That's what a regional is, you know, a scratch tournament that pays five grand. I'm hoping to bowl this one that's kind of like a big regional, and it's um, it's a 16-game Ironman competition, like, yeah marathon but it's 16 or eight games cuts a break eight games on one pattern cuts a break eight games on another pattern cuts a break or cuts the finals and in yeah. the finals they're doing um dual pattern for those two patterns that's cool so i mean yeah, it's got a lot of the big stuff, names in it that's the type of stuff to bowl man honestly the, P the purpose, I think that the PBA is the best thing to be involved with if you're scoping to try to get to national level. If you're trying to be top 30 bowler in the world and compete with those guys, because um, the level of the PBA national touring player is so high. Those guys are so good and stupid. TV does not let you know how good they are. That's why I watch a lot of the slow bowling and everything and support that. Is that's... I can't stand Lucas Wiseman. <laughs> I think that he is a uh, probably a good person for bowling. I've never met him, but based on what I've read on his journalism and what he puts out, I don't think he's the most positive journalistic force in the game. It's almost yeah. like if the tabloids were in charge of NFL journalism. You know what mm. I mean? It's a little, his journalism, I guess that's the way to put it. Nothing against him, because people always take the shit I say and run with it, right? Everybody hates me, because I'm satirical. And I'm realistic. Call it like it is. But he, um, it just seems a little tabloidy to me sometimes. And I don't think that bowling needs sensationalism to be great, right? Right. I think bowling's fantastic. I think there's enough raw, organic content. Look at what Mika Koivuniemi did in Finland. In, at the Brunswick Ballmaster Open, which is like a world bowling tour thing. Mm -hmm. um, Brunswick Ballmaster Open, they included a um, a para bowling division. And it's the first international major bowling tournament to have a division for um, para bowlers and uh, like Special Olympic style bowling, stuff like that. Bowling is huge and there's so many people that do it and so many great stories and triumphs and things that have happened. It's uh, a shame to only market the sensationalism, you know? And maybe I'm mis maybe I misunderstood. Whoa. Maybe there's more, yeah. I'm rejecting that. Okay, everybody, we're going to take a bathroom break and we're gonna switch Wait. over to golf with your friends. Are you gonna join me, Ganem? Yeah, they can challenge more than four now. You could always challenge more than four, but only four, only the first four to accept are in. Uh, okay, I've challenged like eight people before. Potty break, then golf with, oh. Your Ganem. Then, yeah, golf with my Ganem, golf. What just happened? It's not typing. I just, oh, it broke. Oh, that's cool. Hugh, are you talking about the flow bowling? Monthly yeah. payment? Is that what he's talking about? Stop full screening! Oh, and by the way, I, I found the one I use. It's the Robbie's Cool Max Plus. Cool, I'll have to check it out. There, the, the, not... unfor the unfortunate thing is that there's nothing equivalent to the uh, Mongoose. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But It's either Cool Max or Cool Max Plus. I think it's the Plus. The plus is the longer one with the, that's, if it goes past the wrist, you know, like to where it covers the whole wrist, then you have the plus. Yeah. All yeah, right, guys, going to hit this potty break and then we're going to jump over 
gonna bloop, be right back. Everybody, we need a wake up Wrangler. <laughs> viewers lost a view of you let's do some golfing with our friends it's that time all right I'll enter
Swallowed a fur ball. There it is. Now let's see if we can make sure that the music is off. Cool. Let's do it online. Let's host one. Session name, Bowling Science. <clears throat> Public. <clears throat> Pardon me, guys. Ooh. Yeah, it's a charm with a, yeah. Well, I get that bowling needs support. But part of the reason why I moved, like, the reason I moved from uh, Facebook to YouTube was so that hopefully YouTube and advertisers can shoulder, you know, a lot of the cost. A lot of the, the cost of supporting the channel as opposed to just the, the viewers. I love viewer support, don't get me wrong. Viewer support is the coolest thing ever. Um, and I really appreciate everybody who donates. And that's still available here. Donations, we have a Patreon membership, lots of dope uh, merchandise, uh, lots of cool shirts down there at the uh, Teespring link. There's the Patreon link as well. <clears throat> If anybody wants to play golf with your friends, I'm in the lobby. Golfing is hilarious. I have not played it. It's not on Android. That's always been my issue. But I love watching it. Uh, Sam Tabor is one of my favorite streamers. Um, he's a skateboarder and gamer. <clears throat> All right, cool. No, you're not. You're not here. Yeah, I see Discords. You're muted in Discord. Not deafened, but muted. Okay, you're back. All right, now you're back. That's what's up. We'll play here. Nice orange ball. Oh, let's set up some... Let's set up some rules, man. You know what we're doing. Oh, yeah. You know what time it is. Turn this music up. Spawn position default. <clears throat> Can you hear me? Yeah. Jeez, I'm having some issues right now. I've never had internet issues until now. I was working and I had your stream up <laughs> and then that went to crap. Discord is going to crap. My, my PC was loading very slowly. I'm like, what is going on? Yeah, time to re reset some stuff, right? Oh, hey, there we go. Let me bring everybody yeah, might, over here. I might unplug and replug in the uh, yeah, well, uh after all this. I'll have to see how much golf it is. That seems like something in my price range to grab and play on stream. People would get a kick out of that. Golf it is hilarious. Never heard of that one. Oh, it's like a golf comedy RPG. It's hilarious. Top down. It's like an overhead view. Dude, it's amazing. Okay. Collision mode enabled. I'm Seriously. not going to do bouncy ground. No bouncy ground. Yeah, because that's what screwed us. Oh, that stuff was fun. We might do some bouncy ground later, but low bouncy ground is the only one that's really doable. Well, oh, shit, are you doing ran are you doing random balls? Oh yeah. Well, that the thing is, if you keep the bouncing, I don't know if the star is still acting up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I, there's no bouncing still, but I also set reset, so if you have the act up, you can just reset. But we're well, gonna test it. The reset keeps bouncing. Oh yeah, we'll have to find we'll out. Test it. We're gonna test, we'll test it. it. That's right. Let's do some bowling science here. What's bowling up, ball. dude? No hey, look, it's Orion Grab. He was just in the stream chat, and now he's here. Oh. Oh, look, you have two shoes on. It wasn't walking out. Okay, I lost my left of that one, and the right of this one just didn't want to go on. That's okay, dude. I for coming out here, it's totally acceptable. 
All right, let me find this thing. What are we doing? Collision enabled. You lay down. You don't have to be in bed to go to sleep. Huh. Talking to my dog. Hey, that's true for anybody. <laughs> bounce reset, bouncy ground. I didn't say jump on me. Random. Jesus. All right, I think I got it all right. Apply the settings and start the game. Oh, hell. Here we go. All right. Hopefully the dog doesn't want to jump on me during this. Yeah, we'll have to get the, the golf it there. Oh, oh I didn't no. put the jumping on, did I? Oh, no. Oh, there's no jumping. Um, I am... I'm Man. hitched. I can't do anything. Try can restarting. Resetting is B. Hold B. Nope, I can't because I haven't shot yet. I don't know what I am. I think I'm a pug. You're a pug, but you fell through the earth. Oh, I'm bouncing on top. <laughs> oh, that was a good... Oh, yeah, a 24. Oh, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. I tried to set something, and I think I set the wrong thing. Oh! I knocked you closer. I'm a big-ass cube. You're a big-ass cube. Oh, I don't know. Has anybody ever told Can I you even that? make it in the hole? Yes. Can I get there? That's the question. Oh, you're a cone. Ew. No, yeah, you're a cone. There we go. At least I didn't 24. What the hell? <laughs> Screw you, Mikey. <laughs> We're gonna have to play this and set the max to like 10. Oh, a cylinder. Jesus. I'm a ball. And yeah. Oh, I'm a tetrahedron thing. Or the isosahedron. There we go. Yeah, it'd be nice if someone had jumping on. Oh, yeah, we'll jump next match. I don't think it's the jumping that's hurting you there, buddy. It's that 24. <laughs> oh, my yeah. egg jumped! I'm an acorn. Did you see my egg? That sounds like... It sounds like a punishment. I'm my egg... Biggest. My I'm egg... Big nut. My egg went flying, man. I'm a giant egg. It just sounds like a new comedy. The egg and the nut. That's right. Egg and acorn. Oh, I jumped over. Oh! Come on, you lopsided. Beyond. Really? Oh. Oh. Dude, that egg is vicious. The egg is vicious. Welcome, right, everybody who's up. new here. I'm Mikey Dread. If you didn't know that, it's written right there. It's not written there for you, and so I don't forget. Unicorn! I think I'm a ball enough. Oh no, it jumped. I didn't jump. My ball hopped. I'm one of them hoppy balls. Again? Yep. Again. I've been hoppy balls and eggs. I'm, I'm slowly catching up there, Mikey. <laughs> slowly. And of course I get Oh! Ooh, almost hold one with the egg one. Oh, I lived. Giving me a chance. I was you proud of that giving... one. I was so are... proud of that one. Mikey, I just if I the beat you even after it's oh. 24. Hold on one second. Hugh, thank you so much for joining the Patreon, my friend. Much appreciated. Absolutely, dude. If there's anything I can do, help you out. Let me know. There's a bunch of posts in there and links. Um, there'll be some new YouTube videos coming out. You have a good evening. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um... And I think this uh, YouTube thing's working out pretty good. I can't wait to uh, hang out with y'all more in the future. So thanks again, Hugh. We'll catch you later, bro-ham. 
Hey, you're the first gotcha. You straight trolled me in a fun way. <laughs> you made me say huge anus on TV. I'm going the easy way. Screw this. How did you get a ball? That's some bowl. And I still couldn't figure it out. Ooh, my. That's hilarious. Yeah, my Wi Fi is getting a reboot today. I'm never. It's getting a good old reset. Please tell me I'm a ball. I'm an egg. Stop! Oh. There we go. One, two. Scoop! Oh no! You. Stinker! Oh. That's right, man. That's what I'm saying. Catching up. You're in the right place to have fun, yeah. I'm sure you are slowly catching up. Get it to the second hole. That's right. Oh, no. oh, I was talking to my cone. <gasps> I went through the course. Oh no, my cone like flopped out of the hole. Are you gonna get another 24? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're gonna beat me again. Oh, dude, if you catch up after this 24, man. Oh my god. <laughs> I swear, slowly catching up to you. Oh, please give me a ball. Yes, sir. I'm a cube, Ooh. and I made it! I'm an ornament. I have a real. Oh, man, I hit it too damn soft. Oh! oh my internet. I hit like a 20 footer with a cube. Look at that on stream. Woo! I, I can't. Oh, that's okay. Remember. Well, then don't. Oh, yeah, because you're shitty internet. I watched hey, the stream. Uh, I watched the stream on 4G on my uh, phone. <laughs> oh. oh, well, so much for the come. So much for the comeback. Damn tournament. Can I have one of them cinnamon runs? Gosh. It's a pecan swirl, not a cinnamon run. I don't know what a cinnamon run is. Cinnamon runs is what happens when you have too many cinnamon buns, I think. All right, here goes nothing. Quack a doodle. Oh, it made it. Damn it! Come on. Cylinder! Dude, I have just five putted around the hole. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. Really? Dude, this giant cylinder is death. I did it in 10 strokes. Oh my goodness. Oh man! <laughs> oh my! What? You were in the hole watching all that happen? Yes. That's funny as shit. Oops. Oh no! I hockey pucked out of here. <gasps> no. Oh yeah, there's no jumping. Did you get wrecked? Oh, go in! Go in! Did you see that? I almost made it from the jump. That's where I landed, Dove. You see me? Let me go in wow. before you knock me out. Yeah. I almost went all the way. Oh, nice. I felt your balls graze my puck. Jesus. I needed those strokes back. Please tell me I'm a star. Are you kidding me? I'm going this way. You don't have to go that way, dude. It's actually easier the other way. Oh, I tried to hit you. Nice try. You are also at the hole, so. Hey, part. Party part. Party part, part, part. How'd you party part there, partner? 
Oh goodness. Death hole. This. Oh, I bounced backwards. Oh, this is bad. All right. Oh, you're a cube and I'm a cylinder. Eesh. I'm having, oh yeah, that uh... you have giant cylinder problems, don't you? Welcome to my world. That's how I tend on a very easy hole. <laughs> Bom, 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 bom. I mean, this could be... All right. Oh, star again? Oh, I got freaking Acorn. I hate you, Acorn! Love you, star. Oh gosh. I am lit. Oh, oh it reset me back to here. Oh, hey, thankfully. I'm going to stay right here so you can hit me in. I can't jump. I might not make it there. Hold on. This is difficult. Oh, I made it. Okay, I'm coming. I have to I'm put this sure. one in. This one has to go in. No, it doesn't. It's maxing out on 24. I'll make it. How did you not hit me? You're in on my screen. Yeah, I'm not. I'm half in, half out. Yeah, on my screen, you're in. So I probably won't hit you. I'm in at 15, way. yeah. Can you? I see you. Tiny little star. Yeah. Wait, did you see 15? Yeah. Oh, man. Dub took the lead. He got me. Am I a hockey puck? Oh, yes, sir. Cheating ass. Dude. No! Hole in Kelly one. Hole in one. Hole in one. <laughs> I keep rolling back to the start. Oh yeah, it's it's fucking priceless. Pardon my French. <laughs> oh really? Up here? Never got stuck up here before. Oh, oh no. yeah, yeah. Oh, go no. on. <laughs> oh, everybody left for the funniest moment of the stream. This is great. We got three viewers who are getting the best. Freaking experience. Go in the oh, hole! Oh no. Oh, oh no. gosh. I thought it was going to do it. You know what I thought it was going to do. Yeah. Then you make <laughs> At least I know how to do this hole the hard way. Oh no. I'm too big. Oh no. Okay, there too we go. For the hole. Oh, oh my god. The only thing that doesn't go in on this hole. Oh my god. There we go. We're in! <laughs> we made it, ladies and gentlemen! Way to go from a 24 all the way. Oh, now I'm an A train. Oh, yeah. Have fun. Oh, I will. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry about that. Oh! Problem. Oh, no. I'm having a hard time. There we go. I'm I made it. Four! Yes! Let's go. I got a one over. All right, I only have to win this hole by 14 strokes. If you get screwed oh, no, with this... a cone, please tell no, me you, you have the cone. No, that's you. <laughs> I got a ball. Oh, you I ass. Got a ball. You ass. <laughs> You're an ass and a half. I hope you die a terrible death in there. I can't even get, oh, I can't even get over there. I can't either. Oh, man. Don't hit it so hard. Oh my god. Yeah, you're supposed to hit it really soft. Oh no, I'm stuck on it. No! No! Kelly Clarkson! Oh, I want to take a picture and send this to a 
Discord group I'm part of and be like, started from the bottom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a card. That's a card to share. Share it in the high scores. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And I just, like, I, I tried to wish this on you. <laughs> and it worked the game. opposite Karma's way. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> it is. I can't get over it. I literally, the one time I made it over, I, I got stuck halfway. Oh, I made it! No. Oh. Wait, here we go. Give me that card. Give me. I was at 24 and I didn't go over 100. <laughs> oh, that was amazing! Oh, thank you, three concurrent viewers. It's kind of funnier to play random shapes without jumping, but we're going to make the jumping happen. All right, where's the jump? Allow jumping. Enabled. Okay, now we can jump. Same rules. Go into the haunted. Never played this. Oh, I like this one. Oh, I posted in the high scores chat. <laughs> oh, no. There it is. I'm a cylinder. I think my thing is way... Oh, what is this? I can't even see it. It's a star, though. Woo! Hey, do you have goggles on? Yes. That is freaking priceless. <laughs> and I have a, uh, like, a duck for my floaty. So oh, the, the goose? Yeah, yeah I'm, a, I'm a gooser too. I am a gooser. We are live with three people watching. What's up? I don't know where this hole goes. Oh, there's a crevasse. And I'm a skater. No! I'm a ball. I'm a glowing ball. You can turn that off by LB, left button. Oh, I can. That's easier to see now. I can light up in a dark area though. I like that. It works. It works for like the twilight mode. Ah. The twilight cord. Ah, I like that to Corsa. I'm a fan of the twilight Corsa. Oh, um, you, wait. Where's the hole? I, I'm an egg. It's a uh, top right. Top right is for the. Oh, right. I see it there. Okay. No, don't get over. I'm an acorn. Huh. All right, there we go. Oh, I don't We're rolling now, cooking with steam with False Cape in the jam. If you like the jams, check out False Cape on Spotify. All right. Uh oh. I don't need to look at my own profile. I'm a, I'm a big star. Oh, so you can jump across the table. Yep. That's the easy way. I'm going yeah. to the table. I couldn't get to the table. He didn't get high enough. Jump! I'm not going to make it, period. I can't make it! Oh no, dude. Oh Not no, good. I jumped over the hole. Okay, we're there. Dog, oh, what are you doing? Go to sleep. I don't know why you're awake. Oh no, I'm f f skitching out. I had to reset. Oh no, it reset me at the beginning. Yeah, I think you have the setting set to the beginning. Yeah, I should fix that. Hey, so how do you get a 24 on this court hole? Oh, you! Oh. Did you go through the wall?
I guess you changed the max shot to 20 something. Like That's 20 terrible. Oh! Oh, you almost had it. This is great. Welcome to the disaster that is my golf game. This is why I'm a bowler. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready to start golfing. Bro, the 24 is hilarious. People are going to see the card and be like, how did you get a 24? I don't think people oh. think it's possible. Where's the hole? Oh, up? Oh, up and over. Oh, all the way over there. Okay, I'm going to shoot it. Nope. Oh. There it is. You just jumped straight across like I did. See what it I did? Won't let but I'm, I, I'm bouncing when that happens. And it's ah, well. That's no good. My cone lands nicely. It doesn't hit well once I get here. Oh, I'm an ornament. Yeah, it's got a nipple on it. I got one in. Are you going to 24? <laughs> Are there any other munchies over there, baby? That aren't those, because I will not eat them all, because they're yours. Okay, please tell me it's going to play here. Thank you. Oh. No You're pretty bad for, for being a ball. I'm just kidding. Gotta talk some smack. At least I didn't 24 yet on the court. Yet. <laughs> Alright. Okay, the hole is to the left of this little open. The open. Yeah. I see it. Oh boy. Don't get hit by the cart. And am I gonna get hit by the cart? No. Oops. Wait, oh, I'm an acorn. Yes. All right, here we go. Here's the way across. Oh, I'm up! I'm a cylinder, though. So you know what that means? Yes, yeah, go! Go! No, nine strokes. All right, 42 to 53. What's up, everybody? New viewers, how you doing? We're playing some golf with friends with my buddy Ganim. We're playing random shape balls. So it's getting a little interesting. I am, what am I? I'm a cone. Don't mind my unicorn horn, that's just for show. Appreciate y'all stopping by. We just moved the stream here from YouTube, from oh, Facebook no. land. Oh no. I got kicked. From the game? Yeah, because my internet is crapping out. I think. That's okay. It's in network. I'll invite you. I wish you could rejoin a match. That would be sweet. But I'm gonna back out. We're gonna try something different. We're gonna get off the Wi-Fi completely. Just use LTE on my phone. <laughs> Might work better for this game. All right, we're gonna retire and start this over. But if y'all are new here, hit that uh, subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know when we go live. It's YouTube week. We're moving over here, so. We'll be streaming every day this week. Tomorrow afternoon, sometime noon or two, probably two-ish in the afternoon. Um, I'll post beforehand at least an hour on Facebook. We'll have afternoon stream, have some fun. Not playing too much longer tonight. We had some fun bowling, uh, and we're playing with our boy Gan. I'm here now. Let's go to Twilight. Let's play some dunk with collisions enabled super jump on minimum bouncy ground
And the gravity of Uranus. <laughs> Such a terrible joke. <laughs> it's, it's un oh, you're gonna do dunk mode? Oh, you suck. But we're gonna use balls. Normal balls. I made some three pointers last night, dude. Oh, please From connect downtown. me. Please, it says, oh, we're connected. Yeah, you're in. It's just being really slow on connecting. All so right. Really, the only thing that's connected to the Wi-Fi is my, my PC right now, so... <laughs> my wife's not home, no TVs are on to connect. It's the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah. I've never... It's... But I've played... I've played this late before, never had... The... Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying, you shouldn't. All right. Oh, I... My network had an error now. Oh, did he kick you out too? Immediately. All right, one more time. Well, one more time. Wasting my time. I, I don't know if it's us or it's game. Eh. Yeah, probably more game related. Super chat disabled. Da -da -da. This game is real sensitive. If you have a little falter in your internet, mm -hmm. it says later. It says thank you. Let's do moon gravity basketball with no bouncy ground. Oh Normal ass God. ground. Yeah, we'll go moon oh. gravity. I'm done with you. With super jump, this will be interesting. Because <laughs> I don't have, I have super jump instead of normal oh, jump. Oh, and you did force mode. Okay, well, at least it'll be a good place for us to start this. Well, I'm going to let you shoot. First. Take the first shot. Oh, gosh, what happened? Oh, that's what it looks like when you jump. Oh, that's terrible. All right. Oh, there goes nothing. Oh, goodness. Oh, but you can jump as many times as you want. Oh, no, that wasn't good for me that time. I'm just going to stop jumping. Hey, yeah. bitch, I can make it over this. Over, over the backboard. The... Uh, nope. Uh, too, too much. Far. Dude, this is nuts. I I'm in. Not, is, my, is my neighbor sleeping in his truck again? <laughs> <laughs> Marital oh, life man. a little tough for your neighbor. Nope. He runs his truck at night. If he says he's going to sleep in his truck. Oh! Almost. Too far. Go! I'm in. Now go off the side like, oh, oh nice. That did get you to bounce back, though. You can make that. Tiny tap. Jump again. Jump again. You're in. Nope. No. You gotta go off the side like I did. Hit it just barely. Let it bounce and then go. Well, wow. you'll get it. Get in there. Hey, I didn't set the max shots to 24. Did you or you did? No, I did not. Uh, I'm only down by three. Let's go. All right, I'm taking the shot from here. And I did too. Oh. No, oh, I, I hit the backboard. Get on the course. Get on the course. Okay, we're good. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> oh, I went up. No. I went over again. Reset. Just a, All you have just to do is hit it like one. One bar. I don't even have to hit it one bar. Yeah, one bar is not enough for me. Do I hit it harder than you? Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh, I bounced off the top of the backboard. Oh. <laughs> Mikey, seriously. <laughs> you gotta get the touch for it. 
like anything, you can learn it. Imagine how good you'll be at normal putt putt once you're done with all this. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna have to do this way. Ooh! I jumped no. way too late. You didn't have enough speed anyways. Tiny tap. Oh my god, I did. Way I too did much. Just, oh my god. Like literally it was like a sliver of it. There it is. I'll take my own stroke. Okay, you guys got it. Oh, this is gonna be nuts. Hold on. Oh, I went over! Hold on. <laughs> Don't hit reset, you lose a stroke when you do that. Well, I was outside. I didn't, I didn't lose a stroke because I was already off the hole. Oh, but you just... You I hit it hit because... The... I hit it because I didn't want to wait for my ball to stop rolling. But you lose forest. a stroke when you do that. Oh, okay, I'll stop hitting it. That's why you got a four. I thought I had a... Oh, hole in one! No, I missed. I missed the jumper. Ooh, boy. Get in there. Nope. Oh, no. I'm in. Nope, too early. That's right. That's how you do it. What's up? Oh, there it is. Six viewers. We got new people in the house. How y'all doing? Say hi in the chat. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Howdy. We've moved over from Facebook. I'm here with my boy Dub Gannam. Nice shot. Lab member. Lab rat. Lab rat, dog daddy, teacher. <laughs> yep, math teacher. Of maths. Jump. Oh no, don't jump. All right, we're in. I'm in. There we go. Welcome y'all, we're playing putt putt basketball on the moon. We have moon gravity. So that's why the ball's jumping really high. Now we're matching. We're figuring it out. Yeah. Oops. I wouldn't even. No, oh, no, I hit the bad. B button. That's a bad habit. Yeah, it's, now you're at stroke three. All right, I'll stop doing that. Glad you said something. Oh, I missed. I shouldn't have. That way I can catch the lead. Yeah. Oh, oh no. that wasn't hard enough. Alright. Go in! That's it. No. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you're I need to use the back to my ass. advantage. Nope. Go. You can't even use the backboard because it oh because it jumps so high. Mm hmm. Oh my God, this one. Oh. Ooh, you don't even need that little ramp. Screw that ramp. No! I almost put it in! I wasn't aiming! Alright, like one and a third. One and a third is enough to get there. Did you hold it? Oh. And you just tap immediately. Look, I made it. Look at that shot. One and a third and just double tap A. Boop! Made it! Do it for the... Oh, made it! Look at that, did you see that? I don't know if you saw it. Cause I made it all the way from the tee, brother. That was... Oh if SportsCenter shared that video of that guy finger scootering, they should share that shot, man. That was epic. Go in, Dub. Well, and here's my thing. Remember, I can't see your stream right now. Just for having a little internet issue. I made it! Ooh. 
Oh, hey, I see the hoop. You could just shoot it there. All right, I have to do that barely tap. Go ahead. There it is. By the way, here he comes. Here he comes. Don't call it a comeback. I'm going to make it from here. Two and uh, two and two thirds. Oh, nope. You hit the wrong thing. Oh, oh nice. No. That was cool. I'm just going to go the normal way. It's a, it's a bad angle. Okay, maybe not. Oh, the way to make it across this with jump is to bounce off the house. You see the house? It's a backboard. Can I make this shot? Oh, Kelly Clarkson. Did I know you it? saw that. I didn't. Did you make that? I didn't. I was just short, bro. Literally just short. Oh, are you kidding me? Nope, too hard. And I'm swimming. I jumped before the wall. Nope. Too hard. So half, and I have to jump as soon as I hit the wall. Damn it! Not before the wall. <laughs> what is happening? All right. It must be midnight or something. It's past that for you. No. At 24. <laughs> 14. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Ooh. I'm going Tempting. for it. Tempting. Tempting. Um, <laughs> two and a half was not only enough to land me there. So you need three to get it in the hole, I think. Nope, three's too much. Yeah, two and a half landed me in the green. So if you want to go safe, two and a half. Nope, I'll just make, oh, I almost had it. Bogey. Told you, man, it's pretty close. There you go. Oh! There did he make it? I made it. That's a long shot of the match. And you tied me on the hole. That's impressive. Well done, Ganim. Oh, this is a cheater hole right here. Hole one. Hole in one. <laughs> oh, I would have a hole in one if I pointed it at the basket. The distance was perfect. Yeah, your distance looks good. Definitely a cheater hole for us. Now I went to the right. I Ooh, can't you are the... lagging on my side. I can't hit the basket. There it is. Oh. That should have been a hole in one. You de a little bit. Nice, but I am terrible, y'all. Okay. I'm shooting straight from here. Me too. Look at this. That's how our two. Oh, go! Hole in one! Did you use the thing to bounce off of? No, I just hit it perfectly two bars. Two bars and instant jump. I mean, like double tap, baby. Two bars and a double tap. Right at the basket. That was amazing. Oh, oh I jumped. no. I think my double jump is faster than yours. You gotta use the tip of the thumb. If you use the pad, you're gonna be too slow. Like that. Oh. It hit you the back of the oh, you rim. Did. You just got matumboed. That's hilarious. Lay down, you. Look at the one. 
Oh, you nope. got kicked! No. That's terrible. Oh, that was a great... Oh, and now I got kicked. <laughs> oh, this is shit. Well, that was a fun stream. And uh, on that note, ladies and gentlemen and germs and germets, I'm done golf with my friends on stream. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. It's midnight here. We'll be back, um, yeah, in a little over 12 hours for some more YouTube week here on Bowling Science. I'm Mikey Dredd. You can join the Patreon down below at that link. Uh, there's also a Teespring there where you can check out our sick merch. We've got backpacks, fanny packs, socks, face bandana masks, neck gaiters, pants, Tiger King ripoff merch, everything y'all want. So check us out there. I really appreciate everybody hanging out, spending their time with us, and uh, we will be back tomorrow. Check us out. Tell your friends about us. Share it on. Share the share the video. Share the stream all over Facebook. Let everybody know that we've moved over here to YouTube. And I hope you guys enjoyed the stream with me, Mikey Dread. We'll be back tomorrow. If you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, let me know in a comment below. If you want to join the Patreon and get access to the exclusive stuff, you know how to do that. We'll catch you guys tomorrow on the flip side. I'm Mikey.